gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone Facebook log out, you were stuck just like this Velcro You see it's growing, I can't do this by myself though Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow Get sit and watch us do it, straight out the basement Now it's on the TV, you can view it you go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it Someone turn up the music We love the competition, we gon' rock out till we finish Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fit. They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning I lock in, I don't lose focus, the target, I'm a hit Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat, trick is game night Got some bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Y'all, friend, ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car I come through and set the scene, confident like movie stars Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it off Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one on one I made this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can't be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now From Michigan to anywhere, we coming through your town I'm on a mission, who's the best, I gotta take them out Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat, trick is game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, it's your boy Kiki Flay And I'm rockin' with MDC Much love, Josh, I appreciate the opportunity, fam And as always, said I'm out, y'all But please don't be a hater All skill levels cause the players what we cater Triples like Steph, we could go midnight or later Now sit back, enjoy the show while we try to be greater This is the MDC, we shooting straight flames This is the MDC, cooking the most game This is the MDC, we got that got aim This is the MDC, we taking on names this is the MDC, we shooting straight flames. This is the MDC, cooking the most game. This is the MDC, we got that got aim. This is the MDC, we taking on names. 18 grams in my hand, I had to throw it high. Don't miss that double, if you fumble, it could be goodbye. But one and done isn't fun when you open dry. It's trouble when you struggle, the competition is high. At any moment, someone can go and ignite a spark. It's hard to win when you keep giving up on every start. But this is the MDC, no walking in this park. We come out shooting, executing when it gets dark. This is the MDC, we shooting straight flames. This is the MDC, cooking the most game. This is the MDC, we got that got aim. 
This is the MDC, we taking on names. This is the MDC, we shooting straight flames. This is the MDC, cooking the most game. This is the MDC, we got that got aim. This is the MDC, we taking on names. This is the MDC, we shooting straight flames. This is the MDC. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, quick little mic check. I see we got about 20 of us cash checked in early tonight, so the guys are just down there warming up. Uh, had, they'll start the set at about 7 o'clock. We'll see a diddle before that. I just turned on the green light indicator, which lets them know that uh, I'm live up here in the booth, so they could see that right, right back by the scoreboard. We got a light that we changed from red to green when we're live, so they know that it's live. I told them when they're ready, uh, shoot me a shoot me a message or hit me up on a walkie talkie and uh we'll get that diddle rocking and we will uh bring you a real good match excited to have these guys here tonight so i think we should see some really good darts we got some real good bounties out there and uh yeah i think everybody's ready to rock what's up steph checking in early after uh working the the sesh out here last night hopefully uh hopefully work wasn't too bad we got done pretty early yesterday that was a speed match i uh I got some pretty good sleep too, so hopefully you did. Great job uh, yesterday, I gotta say. So we uh, just a, probably a few minutes where they loosen up here. They're looking forward to to start at seven. I know there was a little bit of a uh, little bit of traffic, so I think ANC and Maine got here a little later than they initially planned. But they've been here for about a half hour now, so I went down, was talking to the guys, and. Uh, Everybody seems good. There's real good, uh, real good chemistry down there. They, uh, they're all, they're all for looking forward to playing and uh, excited to be here. So looks like uh, I see a lot of new names today with the likes and follows. So all the new players coming in to support, support you guys. We appreciate you. So uh, really looking forward to the guys putting on a show tonight. This is a, uh, this match has potential to be a great one. So we'll watch along. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna. Just keep an eye here and see what they're thinking about the diddle. And uh, this could possibly be it right here. This feels like it might be the diddle. Yeah, it is. Great shot, Jermaine. So Jermaine jumps right in the double bowl to start it off. Gary takes a look and he's going to probably try to ride in on the top of that dart and just get one hole closer to that center. Let's see if he can pull that off. Ooh, wires it, but good start. Good start to the diddle here. And uh looks like Jermaine and Yancey will lead the way. Our first set is race to nine, all cricket. So I expect to see some big time shots coming here. Good luck to these guys. And uh we'll take predictions, man. What do you guys think is gonna happen in this cricket set? We're uh we're racing a nine, so you don't have to have a score. You can just pick the winner. You could try to guess the score, but we uh usually try to do predictions early. No offense to the team you pick against, but honestly, somebody has to lose this match. So picking a winner doesn't make you a bad guy. Just who you think is going to win today. I believe me, I'm one that's wrong all the time here. Uh, it seems like every time I pick, I'm wrong. So Dan Taylor said he's looking for it to go to the tiebreaker. And he knows that's very popular around here. We all love to see the 13-inch board get into play. My man Jason Watt checking in. What's good, my brother? 
Congrats on a good weekend for your whole team out there at the CDC. I saw maybe you, you didn't have the results you personally were looking for, but the the squad over there was uh, represented very well. Man, you guys had a had a good good showing out there, and uh, how cool for Larry to pull off a W. Steve Z says he's going to take Yancey and Jermaine in the first set, 9-6. to six. So... Getting starting to get some rolls coming in here on some predictions. I feel like 9 6 is a pretty common score in these sets, too. We do see a lot of 9 6, 9 5, 9 7. We do, we have had, I think, 1 9 8 in cricket, but uh, the 0 1 tends to go to the tiebreaker a little more often. Jason says, Larry, turn him back the clock. No doubt about that. How cool is it that he uh, goes in there and gets him a W? I mean, I, I thought uh, <clears throat> that's just so impressive. Larry's been winning at darts for so long. Jay Watt says he's going to go with Gary and Kev. We're off to a good start here. I don't know if I've been missing any clippets. You guys know the routine. Throw that scissors up there if you think somebody uh, somebody going to miss. Addison says she's going with her dad and Kev. So votes. Steve says I'd say it's nine six either way. That's that's actually a pretty safe bet. That nine six, I'm telling you, is the most popular score we see here. So you guys coming in pretty solid. Usually the first game, you know, you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes somebody will blast a big seven point something out of the first game, and sometimes we just see a nice little four zero type of game where the it feels like they're just kind of. Feeling each other out a bit. What up, Ronnie Mack? And Charlie Mack as well. What's happening, brother? It's just me in the booth till uh, till Day Day gets here. Uh, Jordan had a scrimmage today, their first one. He was excited, so fall ball, first scrimmage. So he might be here about 7.30, but Day Day's coming and uh, Day Day's coming and going to be here in a little bit and help me, uh, help me out in the booth here and follow along. We got uh, the bounty shots. I don't know if you guys saw my post. There's uh, some pretty cool bounties up uh, where the guys can actually make some money just from the club and the uh, people who sponsor the bounties. That's all out of their own pocket. Kim Wallace said uh, Jermaine and him were was supposed to try to get a hundred dollar game in out there in Ohio, which no surprise. Get game uh Maine's got some big game and he loves to gamble, so I know game Maine uh definitely got no problem playing some games for money. He enjoys it. As I think everybody should. I think uh I think a lot of times, you know, everybody's so quick to play poker for a hundred, two hundred bucks, but you know, nobody wants to put no chips on the line when they're playing darts, but around here it's a little different. Around here, it's a little different. These guys usually usually get some pretty uh, pretty decent personal wagers going on between each other. Whatever they arrange today, I'm not sure, but I'm sure there's something going on down there to keep it exciting for uh, for everybody else. That's why we came up with uh, the prop bet idea. We figured throw a few shots out there that you know if they hit it today. I think it's uh, I don't know for the people who didn't see. I had a post. It was uh, 161 and higher. Uh, any out 161 or over is worth uh, 50 bucks. Um, the nine dart crick, the nine dart 501 game, which it's obviously going to be tough for these guys. It's double double, but the club's got uh, 200 dollars for the first person to throw a nine dart out on our stream. We haven't had that happen yet, so there's 200 dollar bounty on that. You have uh, Chris Norquist's put uh a hundred dollars up if someone if one of the teams can get out of finish a cricket game in eight darts and it's still worth 50 if you do it in nine uh there might be something else on that list let me see oh yeah and then we got uh shoddy's parlay if any any single player if any single player checks out a cricket game with a four bull or better for the winner and has an out 120 or higher in the 01 set that's worth 50 bucks. So all the bounties are first player only to hit. So those are uh, those are pretty exciting. And that doesn't cost the players anything. That's just besides, that's just stuff the guys uh, put together. Just 
Just to add a little, little couple of excitement because basically, uh, basically spice things up a bit. I see Jay Watt has hit us on the cash app. Appreciate you, brother. I'll get you down for them bonus entries tonight. That'll get you four entries in the, the drawing that we're going to have on ladies night. So we're really excited about the prize list, to be honest. Uh, I, uh, I don't think we could be more excited. I got to find my list, though. Got all these notepads up here. I'm discombobulated without my uh, without my my partner my partner here. It's doing it all. The, uh, four entries for Jay. Got you down, Jay. Appreciate you out there, brother. For anyone that wasn't here yesterday, we're, uh, you know, our big giveaway. I, I, some of you may have saw the, the we changed our cover photo to this month's giveaway prizes. We got some great ones on the docket. And we are going to uh, give double entries away during the whole stream today. So we're a $20 de donation would normally have you four entries in the end of the month drawing. Tonight it'll get you eight. So for every $5 you donate, you get two entries into the drawing. So. Appreciate you, Jay. He says, hope you're doing well. I'm feeling good today. Got me a nice little pre-stream mat nap. So uh keeps me uh on my toes. I don't think I got that first game down, but looks like uh Kevin Gary must have won it because they're going second. Hope I didn't miss the four bowl. They're keeping uh they're keeping uh track of the bounties down there too. Randy says, get Yancey some Patron. I, I feel like he must have brought some. They got in a little late, so they went straight down. I went down to say hi, but I, I didn't really see them. I saw Kevin Gary because they were here about 20 minutes earlier than them, so I talked to them for a couple minutes, but I usually try to stay out of the player's way today and just hide up here in the sound booth. Up over 80 viewers today. Appreciate y'all. That's, uh, that's, that's big. So if you guys haven't liked or shared, if you don't mind doing that, Get us out there and uh, let's uh, get some exposure for these guys. Show everybody what they're up to tonight. I agree, Gary. Let's get that to 100. We have yet to hit triple digits, man. That is, uh, that would be, uh, we've got to 97. It was so close one day. And, uh, but it was uh, 97 that started going down. It stayed really high that day, but it never did reach that 100, that triple uh, digit. So it looks like Maine and Yance in pretty good shape to level this halfway through game two. Maine is ripping him today, boy, ain't he? He's fast. I uh it's fun when a player's when they're hot and they're playing fast, it, it's really easy to watch, man. I like uh like to see a good pace like that. Uh kind of what Tom was doing last night, man. Tom just gets to the line, he gets it done, and and that boy uh he was hitting some triples. All these guys are real good pace players, so should be exciting watch all day today. Mike Patterson says, I'm here. You'll get to 103. I like it. I like it. Jermaine versus Lobby. That's the speed match right there. Mikey Smith, appreciate you. So we cruising good today. Players throwing some pretty big darts. That was a. I've been slipping with the clip button here. Big six piece from Maine. Gary and Kev, two of our players qualified for our club championship that we're hoping to run in either late, late September or sometime in October, which uh, we had a whole series of singles events to qualify for that. Gary won the qualifier number three. Qualifier number five is this Saturday. <laughs> JJ. <laughs> yeah, you definitely main main got the chain down. He gotta have it on, right? Yeah, 
man. He's a fun guy to play some darts with. We met uh, Darts for Dogs. We drew on uh, not the main event one year, but we drew in uh, the Sunday event when they had, had it split. And we, we played really good. We ended up losing uh, Alex Reyes in the, in the, I think, in the, maybe we took third or second, but Reyes and uh, I forget who he had. Uh, oh, Brian Massey, I believe. And uh, we just became buddies. I like the way he plays. I like his energy. And uh, I mean, it was excited to have him here. Yance, I've known Yance so long. I don't even remember meeting Yancey. I've known him so damn long. I would assume it was at Dart somewhere. Well into them 90s on the viewers, so we appreciate everybody. As we're closing in on that 100 mark. Must be doing good jobs on the uh, the shares and that. Oh, I'm getting well, updates. It says 101, 103. Yeah, it says 92 over here for me. It'll probably update, but way to go, guys. Thanks for everything. That's the, the shares and the exposure that, that you guys caused that. So I appreciate it. And I know that we were going to be have a chance at it tonight just by how many new likes and follows we're, we're been on the page over the last three or four days. We've had a bunch. So hopefully all our new new followers are liking what they're seeing here. We, uh, we try to stay pretty busy. We try to keep uh, good quality players to the best of our efforts and uh, keep it fun for the players and for the viewers. So. 114, look at it go now. This is just wild. Appreciate everybody out here getting it in. I knew we'd get a couple rock stars down there. We we'd be all right today. I knew it was I knew it was uh knew it was coming. So let's see here. It looks like, uh, oh, here's a chance for one of those bounties. Double bull, double bull, double 17 would be a winner, and that would qualify for at least in the parlay. Always oh, got a shot. Oh, he's got to stay on the bull now, right? I would not leave Jermaine that hat trick. I would stay right on the bull, and I would hope that I catch a 50 piece to get that 34 point lead. 25 just to yeah he does it so that was a big shot so bad time for that round but still early in the match but I would say this game that's gonna yeah, that's gonna slip away a little bit there. So Kevin Gary would slide to a to a two-o lead. And I assume we're gonna see Jermaine here start us off with a couple of trip twenties. Okay, four mark to start. Let's see if, uh, let's see where this trip 19. Yep. I expect Gary, maybe he'll stay now. He might have went up had he hit trip trip. Oh, he even went up without the trip trip. I guess he did have the lead. Mike Patterson, we're in, uh, we're Taylor in Taylor, Michigan. We're near Metro Airport. So it's not too bad from, I think, I think Jermaine, I think they said they took, it took like two and a half hours or so. I mean, we used to drive to we used to drive down to Lorraine and and play the All Ohio League years ago. Me and Doug and everybody. And I, I want I feel like it was just under just under three hour drive, two and a half hour drive, something like that. But we're basically six minutes from Metro Airport. So I apologize if I'm missing any comments today. Just me in here, and I was uh, just trying to keep up. I see him getting voted out the booth by my old school buddy, Charlie Mack. Last week, I was his favorite player. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, Charlie. I know you're just giving me shit. So up over 120 viewers. We not only broke the mark, we have completely surpassed it here, so... 
Thanks, everyone, especially uh, especially the faithfuls, the new new followers, maybe somebody who stumbled on us by mistake. Appreciate everybody checking us out. We got two more events this week. We do have a uh, grudge series. Uh, two of our two of our <clears throat> regulars here at the club, Jerry Jerry Frazier and Brian Gannon, also uh, partners in a couple of TOC leagues. They'll be duking it out on Thursday. Both their their first match in the Grudge Series, so looking to get to that one old platform, and they the winner of that match is, will face off with the winner of uh, Day Day and Josh. As two more of our regulars will be the last two to get in this part of the series, and um, we think both those streams will be real good. Uh, the second one is the Saturday, our final qualifier, which is uh, guys who played at least two of the previous events, and. Uh, we're looking forward to that. We got some good names on the list. Tom Keller solidified his spot last night with the win over Chuck Lawrence and was our final person making 10. So we uh looking forward to that. That'll be the last person to qualify for the uh Oh, I thought that was double double. It's just horrible. Um the last person to qualify for the, the Premier Singles Finals, which uh, right now we have uh, it's PJ, State Farm, Gary Clark, Dan Burke, Jason Topsky, Kevin, Kevin Freight Train, and then we have um, the winner of Saturday's event will be the final male entry, and the winner of the ladies' event will represent the ladies in the club championship. So we look forward to that. It's going to be an eight-person tournament where. The players will enter for $100 a piece. The club is paying the ladies winner as part of their win. For whoever, whichever lady wins on uh, the 27th, will get their entry fee paid into the club championship. The other players will pay $100 a piece. And the club is also, besides paying their entry fee, adding $1,000. So that tournament is going to be a good one. $1,000 first place prize, $500 for second. And third and fourth will both get $150 back. And we're actually working on trying to come up with at least 200 more that we can kick in. So four through eight will at least get $50 back for qualifying. So most likely that'll happen, but you never know. You never know. Double's always a little hard. Yance might be pressing a little bit here. It's hard when you when you when you just struggling a little bit to find your stroke, but your partner is literally lighting the place on fire. I've been been both guys in that scenario. I've been the guy that was on fire, and I've definitely been the guy that was struggling. So I'm sure it'll turn around. Main just stick to what he's doing, throw big shots. You know Kevin Kevin Gary play together all the time and uh they uh they're going to stay solid. So if you're main, you just keep doing what you're doing. You know Yancey's a great player. You know he's going to find his rhythm. Just keep throwing big shots and hope he gets relaxed and you get that first win on the board. Playing well good enough to get one, obviously. What's going on? What's going on, my brother? Hundred and thirty. We were just shattering the old mark. You guys are killing it today, man. The stream has definitely been lit the last couple of days. I like this three days in a row. It's been a lot of fun. Olivia Terry, I just got your uh just got your donation. We'll get you on that sheet for four entries. I appreciate you. X Xavier, same. I just seen uh just seen you in there, so I will get you guys down for your bonus entries. It's going to be a long time typing out that chart, chart tomorrow. we got a lot, of, a lot of people jumped on these bonus entries. I don't blame you. Get two for one. Because it's going to be really hard to run the bonus entries on the day of the event because we're going to just be, there's a lot going on in the stream. And that's why I like to do the bonus when we have one-on-one. -on -one. I can kind of 
keep an eye on everything. All right, let's see if man can bring, uh, bring a big shot here. Seven or nine on at 17. Just a little, little off the triples, still in his range. I'm sure uh, snap right back out of that. Get into one of those purple patches he's known for. Thirty minute mark on the live stream couple of games in obviously we start a few minutes early be because just to get it out there so people could share it and stuff before it goes but so far i'd say it's been a pretty exciting first couple of minutes here so it's really uh even seven, you're going to be a little short, or even nine, you're a little short on a point lead. But strange things happen at the end of these games sometimes. So I know one thing about Maine and Yance, they're definitely going to fight to the end of every game. Just being down a little bit right around the bullseye is no big deal when you can pop off a five-piece on the bulls at any given time. So <clears throat> jump out to a 4-0 lead. This guy's gonna have to get get one on the board here, get it to four one, and then and, and just go from there. It, it uh it happens. Momentum's a big deal down there in the basement. Sometimes when you it's hard to get that first win, it's hard to get that last win. Olivia, good call on the clip. Let's see. I got Maine starting this game off with the nine mark. I think he's had enough right now. He's he's gonna inspire his partner. He's gonna bring that smoke. I got I got Maine going. Trip 20, trip 20, trip 19 right here. Let's see what he does. That's what I feel like is coming. Seven piece on the 20s. I'm sure he will take that just as well. That's a great shot. Good way to start the game. Ron Otto said he's heading to Johnny's. Play some TOC against uh, play some TOC against um, Brian and Jerry. Speaking of them, we're playing on Thursday. So good luck in that to both teams. Now, here's a great chance for Yancey right here. Just settle down. Nice, easy shot. Even the three is okay, but you peg a six or a seven mark right here, you feeling great. Trip 17? He does. Great shot, Yancey. Patterson says he got Maine good and warmed up last night. I figured Maine was getting his reps in. I, I, had, uh, I had chatted with him a little bit over the last two weeks since they, they booked this a, a while ago. So I uh, snapped him a few times, and then he said he was excited. And I, I, usually that means the guys are preparing, and that's what we love to see. So good work getting him in there. What's up, Brittany? Thanks for the like out there, girl. I tried to call Rick back earlier today. I missed him uh, while I was napping. I figured I'd call back while he was napping. We're old guys now. We got to gotta communicate our phone calls around our nap times. Let's see if Yancey can keep that hot momentum. Trip 16. Takes a stab but misses, but actually in really good shape to get this first win on the board here. Yep, Ronnie, we will see you on Saturday, being one of the qualified players for the final for the final chance to get in. Only the winner gets in the club championship on Saturday. The point point leader has already been established. There's no one mathematically that can catch Kev, so Kev sat this one out knowing he's got a free roll in and uh, didn't have to juggle his work schedule. I'll uh I'll get that list updated soon. 
so you guys can see who you who you're who you'll be watching on Saturday. There's Rick. He said, "You're right. I did just wake up." Wilson, what's up, my brother? Mike always checking in with us. Digging the vibe here, man. We appreciate the love. Mike's one of the guys been out here and played with us plenty of times before. So these guys are rock stars down there. I got us at 142 and climbing, man. You guys, uh, you guys are killing it out there with the views today. Let's see if he finishes this up. Double bull for the win. Nope. Still in great shape, though. 75 to pass, and it's only up by 12, so. If he hits a five-piece here, it could get dicey. I doubt it, but you never know. You throw the five-piece here, maybe get them to miss a dart or two, and you could make a little charge, but feels like Yancey's going to be able to close this out his next trip. So double bull for a 37-point lead, which will force Yancey to two 20s and a double bull. So Yancey just needed one bulls or one single 20, 19, and two bulls. So see if he can finish up here. He does not, but he picks up 34 more points. So now I would expect Kev just going all in on that bullseye. I know Kev's been working uh, working pretty hard this week just with some stuff coming up that he's got, matches online and a match here and stuff. And I know he was out. He played for a few hours with Millar the other day and went out and saw him. I heard they had a pretty good session together. And sounds like all the guys were practicing. I know Gary's big on uh, – Gary practices at home a lot. He's one that throws a lot on the grand board and stuff like that. So, Charlie says, get the ladies in the booth. Get Shotty back down there on the board. <laughs> you guys don't want to see me throw right now, man. I'm still, uh, still a work in progress up here. So much easier just sitting here and calling darts. I have been throwing a little bit down there, though. I'm not going to lie. I sneak down and throw a couple. Usually when Scotty's here. Throw a lot of games with him. So here we go. Main with two bulls to win it and to get his team on the board. And he gets it done with two darts. So four games to one, and we will probably see Gary Clark starting on the 20s. I'm not sure if he's the one starting. Looks like he's going to be. Let's see what GC got for us here. Good game by Manny Yancey on the board. You see a little, little talk there back there. Probably just saying, hey, we're in there now. Let's just go. Have fun, baby. At least that's what I vision they're saying. Could be something else. <laughs> Will says good-ish. <laughs> Definitely would take it. It's the hardest thing down there, I feel like, is, is these these break the break points, man. It's just like going going second. It's really hard to win multiple games in a row because of the loser start format. But it gets done. Stripes, I, I see. You know, they say a bunch of stuff with the stars. But, I mean, we've been streaming three, four matches a week. A couple of, I mean, this is uh what? Four, yesterday we only did three hours so this is four so we, we've never had back-to-back -back four hour streams i don't think so maybe that is the issue maybe that's what we're missing back-to-back -back four hour streams but they they get this little checklist and, and that's what we're, we're missing there's like two but hopefully the stars will come one day we would uh we would like that 
But I tell you what, our, our, our viewers have been great. We get do a lot of good in donations. A lot of the players are generous. They've cashed donations when they're here. And then the the, the, the stream labs, the link that Josh posts at the top of the – when we go live, the link and, uh, and the cash app. So hopefully uh, – Eventually, they unlock those stars, give us that little bit of freedom, but we'll have to try that. Try to do back to back four hours. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do something next week on Friday and then before, because uh, I know Saturday will be a good Saturday. Might even we might even hit the max stream with the the ladies tournament. Could take between seven and eight hours, depending on how it goes, because we're usually early, live a little early, and then sometimes we stay on a little extra. And I know the last uh, ten person men's tournament took almost eight hours. Look at me go, oh, this boy good. So I was one game off on that. I said he was going to do that last game, but uh, I was wrong. He did it this game. So let's see if Gary can answer right back. The old drop dart move. The Gerwin Price, we call it. Oh, this is back-to-back -back nines to start the game. Don't even hesitate here. He's – what's he thinking? Is he thinking 18 or is he thinking 20? It's got to be 18, right? Maybe 17, the way he's looking. So let's see at Yancey toes the line with a six point lead. Two number two numbers closed. A little bit of a little slack there gonna allow Kev an opportunity. Kev's dangerous in these spots. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think of that. Just, just. I hate to just let our stream run for four hours, though. Our players expect better than that from us. We got a little help pulling up in the booth now. What's up, Day Day? Yo, yo. Got a banger cracking. You'll have to turn your mic on. I got it off, but it's good to go. I got Jay's uh little light there too. Pretty good match so far. Uh, Gary and Kev got out to a four-zero start, and then uh. Then Maine and Yancey took game five, and then the game six was back to Kevin Gary, and now we're in a pretty good spot here. Yo, yo, Mike, check. You guys hearing? We have 130 viewers. Yeah, we was uh, we was closing in on 140 mark earlier, and uh, these guys been throwing some smoke. Yeah. I haven't clipped a whole bunch, but I've been trying to re-clip, do all this. I got some clips, but. Looks like uh, Jermaine and uh, Nancy, Yancey are getting busy right now. Yeah, yeah. They uh, Well, a little bit of a slow start. Maine came out the gate firing. Yance wasn't playing up to his, his so standard. It was 4-1. It was 4-0. They won. And then it was 4-0. Then they split the next two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they split the next two, and this is game seven. So Maine barely missed a dart in this game. He started off nine. He came back seven, and then he just threw that. So Maine been, Maine been pummeling the board right now. Yeah. Five five two is key. I mean, definitely don't want to see a six one. Katie Vinay says, "What up, Day Day?" Cat says, "Hey, Day Day." Olivia, what Team up, Day what Day. Up, what up? What up? How was that scrimmage, man? How'd they do people. over there? Um, they were definitely the better team today. It was still on when I left, but uh, they scored a lot. Yeah, his team was uh, maybe pretty good this year. Yeah, that's good. Uh, the, I know you was hyped on it. It's, it's always a good sign when the coach got two really good kids on the team. You know what I mean? Like, we probably see, Jermaine, got really, you know, four. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's nice. See Jermaine's wife checking in, supporting there. How are you doing, Star? So what's he go? He trip trip so far? He looking for a looking for a nine mark start? Oh. I don't know. Energy. <laughs> Just feeling some type of way. Great shot. George, welcome in. Thanks for the like, I believe that was. Maybe share. Yeah, like. I don't know, Mikey. That sounds a little sensitive to me. Disrespectful. I don't know if I'd go that far with it. I think they're down there having a little fun, but. Everybody takes it a different way. It's, I wouldn't take it as too much disrespect, yeah. but at the same time, it's my games. It's my if games. Was, uh, yeah. If it was a little closer right now in the set, they probably wouldn't be throwing that type of shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, and maybe just you know, just as 
maybe something just made him. Gary's Gary's just Gary. He does crazy yeah. shit, you know. Yeah. I definitely don't think it's he's, you know, other than maybe just, you know, if you're just edgy and trying to get guys thinking a little bit. But it does work, though. It does work on some players. I don't think yeah. it'll work on, on Main or Yans, but it not like take them off their game. But Maybe not take them off, but you step, definitely will fire up a gear, rather. It's a bad or good gear. They're going to be thinking like this, mother, you know? Yeah, and maybe they struggled on Bulls that last game. Like, fuck it, I'm yeah. popping one right off rip. Because Main's a beast. He's coming at him. Main's right. playing good. I'm not saying Yance is playing bad, but Even I'm saying right like, now, that Mains, was an aggressive move by yeah. him. Main's motor. 21st yeah. to close without the lead. That's how he plays. Main's a hard opponent, man. I play, I, like I said, I, I played with him in a Darts for Dog event. I played against him several times. He's he's a tough opponent, man. He plays fast. He plays aggressive. He's going to make moves that make you there. think. I like the move he did, even though it didn't pay off much, but c killing them 20s, you know? I mean. And I feel like he's just he's just made, he's just trying to make Yance feel loose. He's like yeah. he knows he can get more out of Yancey. He knows he's the leader tonight. He knows he needs to have a big performance. And I think he's just kind of letting him know, like, hey, the big dog, I got you, man. Just do what you do, you know. Yancey's got big game, so. Uh, Clark got the uh, Michael Jordan tongue going, huh? Clark's feeling, feeling it. it. Well, you know, he had been, his last play was a loss here in a great match too. It was that yeah. match that lost to Farm. farm. Man. Look at him go. Uh. <laughs> Who said that? I don't know. It might have been me. It sounds like me. There's definitely, there's definitely a little chatter going on. They're having a good time. Like I said, I, I don't know what they uh, I don't know what they did on it. I know there was I know they was they would definitely got something going on down there, but I think all four of them know that there's a lot of games couldn't be played tonight. You could have a couple bad games. You you could almost get away with a bad set, really, as long as you bounce back, you know. In a bad spot. Chris Grimmel, what's going on lead, out there? Still not the best spot. Just uh, just getting started. She said, "What did I miss?" So uh, we we just getting underway here, playing a little race to nine cricket. Got some uh, some of the boys from Ohio made a trip up today to play with with Kevin Gary here at the club in in Taylor, Michigan, and uh, Oh, that's what it was. Okay, somebody must have somebody must have yes, tagged her. Maybe she one. maybe that's a shot that Chrissy's known for. I see Mike's uh comment. Hello. Man, it's uh we've been jamming for years. We got over one fifty today. They must have been excited to see Day Day in the booth here. <laughs> Not me. Who took that? Was that Gary? Yeah, good fit. No, that's six two, right? Yeah. All right, let's see if Maine can motor through another nine mark start here. I uh, he ain't missed uh he ain't missed a trip twenty very often tonight. One fifty one, Kev seeing the big numbers in uh one fifty four it says here in the in the in the lab. I knew these guys was gonna be hype. All right, all right. Yance can, can, Yance can yeah, you know, it's a good jump spot on for early. We've seen 6 3 get tied at 6 6 yeah. in like multiple matches. So I think this is a crucial game for them. Ooh, little slack round. He just doesn't look really comfortable yet. I mean, he doesn't look tense, but I, I don't feel like he looks comfortable. I, you know, when Yancey's loose, he's just really slinging them. He's accurate. Well, Kev ain't do much damage here. Oh, he caught a third dirt trip. Bane can put some work in right here. Get busy on them 20s, look to close. Yeah, I definitely think he's uh he wants that 19 gone. But he, he really he had no dart for it there by missing yeah, the first yeah, dart. Yeah. yeah. He's playing good. He's going to be real hard to beat 5 of 1. If Yancey's getting in and keeping it low, Maine's going to Maine's going to win a lot of games in the old one the way he's hitting the trip 20. Yeah, at this point you got to be they just you know, they want some back and forth action. You, want, you don't want Kevin Gary just motoring through. You got to Start making them work. Kendra, thank you for the donation. Get you on the list there with the extra entries. 
Olivia, the, the rock star of darts, is checking in. Says, hi, guys. How are you out there, girl? Looking forward to having you in a couple weeks here. I think everybody's real excited, not just the players, but the viewers and everybody on the staff as well. So appreciate you checking in. What's going on, Susan? How are we out there? Our trip almost had to have it. They wasn't, wasn't going to be in a good spot. Pappy Robertson, what's happening? Ooh, rare miss. Rare miss by me. Sometimes that, you know, that first almost easy opportunity, he's hit them all in the hardest spots. And, it, and for him, a little bit, that was probably – a little bit of an easier opportunity, it seemed, but he doesn't. Yeah, Gary fails to fails to capitalize. If you're Yancey right here, you just want to stuff that first dart in the trip 17 and just feel confident. Olivia says, how's everyone tonight? We're doing, doing good in the booth here. She's here cheering the boys on, so appreciate you. Support and check in. You picked a good match to tune in for. These guys uh. I'm sure you probably know most of them. But these boys can get it done. Yeah, after Kyle some Wright. Uh, fire darts, they just a little slow on this one. Yeah, it's going to happen. You're gonna, they might play 40 games tonight. I think the record is, uh, is right around 40, 39, 40 games with the, with the race to nine, three sets. Uh, although the, race, the last set's only race. Still race, not in the best spot. Race to four, but we've seen uh, 39, 40 games. Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, anywhere above the 30s is pretty common here. I, I feel like all, yeah, I feel like all these guys play a lot. Of, I don't know if Yancey plays really, really long sessions like this, but I, I gotta assume Maine does. Just the way he plays, the way he likes to gamble, the way you know, just just his his persona. He strikes me as a guy who got no problem pulling up, playing 40 games. And you know how much Kevin G work on the board. I know Yance travels a lot, works a lot, so I don't know if he gets as long as sessions, but he's definitely. He's got no problem playing it. Man. I just don't know if he does it a lot. Yeah, well, we know Kev and Gary definitely live S on the board. Susan so. Mullins, we must be doing something right. She says she turned off Hocus Pocus to watch this. So. Wow. Good finish by Kev. Wasn't the best leg by Yance and Jermaine, but they definitely don't want these guys getting to eight. You've got to try to string off two or three right here at least and, you know, start with this one. So there we go. Split averages now. I don't know why they just started doing it now. They were doing it before uh, with just the one team average. Well, we have we had uh, – yep, Cat, thank you. We got that one on there. I love the little clip reminders because we – you see a pin? So it's getting dark in here. We had Kendra come in with uh, four entries. Good find. Five. Five mark to start. I feel like they want to stay ahead in, in, in the in this game, in this leg right here. Just They want to stay ahead of Gary. And yeah, have. five's almost a little scary when yeah. you start with a five. Be, uh, for either team, because you got Jermaine coming behind you that started most games with six or more. And then you got more Gary Clark, and you yeah. got Clark who's coming who started most games with six or more. So at least five on the 20s. Plays bigger than five, you know. You got to hit six nineteens to pass, so it might be safe. But I feel like if Gary goes trip trip, he's going to try to rip that twenty right out from under them in round one. You see him doing that right here. I see him going for it. I don't know for say that he's going to hit it, but he's going to have a shot at the twenty. I feel like he'll hit the two trip nineteens. Oh, yeah, he's going to stay now. The, look, the way he was mad. About oh, he that definitely. His look. reaction says he was going for it for sure. Yeah. Stephanie says, "Hey, day day." Yo, yo, Steph, what up, what up? Hopefully you got to catch her action in the booth yesterday. Yeah, Steph, Steph had it. Yeah, she had a good time. And, uh, we, natural. We, we definitely enjoyed enjoyed doing it. That's a natural. I'm pretty sure me, Steph, and Tom all had a really good time last night. Yeah, he <laughs> didn't do Wow. <laughs> Just kidding out there, my boy Chucky. It was a rough one, but Tom was, man, he was fire yesterday, dude. Ah, uh, Kev definitely wanted to nine, took a look. And why not? 
Yeah, I think aggressive's going to win. Like a, it's just like they're going that double bull in the middle there. It's just, I, you know, it's it's a wild shot. It might take them. Might be like, what's this guy doing? You know, and it's the same way with that nine mark with the seven point lead. You know, it's. I like it. Patterson says, that, does he know Day Day? Maybe. I don't know. We ain't done a whole lot of traveling, but. Mark decided to stay there. Been, oh, out to a, sure. been out to a couple regionals uh, and stuff. We went to South Bend uh, right before the Corona ban started. It was the last time we were we traveled with a few of us from here. So, uh, if you watch the stream at all, you've you definitely seen him on the stream. He plays. <clears throat> he's got a match coming up uh, probably uh, the week after Ladies Night. I think we're gonna try to get him and Josh in there and. Uh, Definitely played a lot of our locks and our doubles and singles events. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We'd probably have to see your face, but I'm not a super OG in the game. But I, I traveled a little bit before the Corona. Couple, yeah, <clears throat> couple bull shooters. Mike's been around. Mike does. I, I've seen Mike at tournaments for years. So we probably we may have ran into him somewhere. I, I would say maybe a, the Ohio bull shooter or or possibly that South Bend. But that was another good shot. But by, by Maine, I, I like it, man. You got to do some. He just did his game. Close. He brings big Gambled game. A little. Yeah. I mean, he, he's on his. I feel like he feels like he has to do something. So. He's firing at it, right? I think he's, yeah. I mean, with the up. stop, yeah, with the stop, you would feel like he's switching. So only a single. <laughs> I like it. Come on, yeah. Yeah. The triple on him. Triple just goes so far, you know, just to build just that confidence and get that release where you know how it is when it's like you feel like you're the guy that's struggling and then <coughs> you just can't can't seem to find that triple. Yeah, sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's easy. Trevor, what's happening? Appreciate you. Four bowls to take the lead. Hey, what, what else can you do? What else can you do? You know. Knowing they already have a bullseye. Yeah, so that's going to be eight games. Yep. And they got the same score down there. I could just heard uh Yeah, Mike says that Gary Gary stops a lot. I, I kind of felt the same thing, but usually a lot of times when you see him, he's cracking that third dart, but it, so far it seems like he hasn't been very good after the stop. He never used to throw it. That's a more newer thing, I feel like. Remember, Gary, yeah. we, we talked about it before that it just seemed like it came. Uh, he never did it much, that's for sure. What's up, Joey Nestor out there? What's going on, brother? Trap said no dog. Another five mark start, which is like Scotty said, you gotta feel like you're in a little danger with only a five at this point with these guys. Especially, especially when you're, you know, when they're playing to close it out, they start to get that, taste that blood a little bit, you know. Seven by Gary. It's a good first start by Yancey. A little unlucky that one wasn't a triple. All on it. Yeah, three good darts just yeah. not getting in, and that's how it goes when it feels like if you if maybe you're struggling a little bit. At least for me, that's how it always felt like. Man, I throw three good darts and it still won't reward me. Kev, Kev, Kev. Good shot. <laughs> Kev said, "Is or Trev said it was supposed to say my dog, not no dog." All right, now it makes sense. I was wondering. I was like, oh, maybe I said something about the dog earlier. Got to give more love to the to the viewers today. I can't believe uh, up uh, up over the 150 point at one point today in the 140s here now. So Big John, what's up, brother? Welcome in. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, Tom Keller in, in there after a good performance by uh, by him last night. Watching, said these guys are getting it in, and uh, I gotta agree. It's been uh, we're at a really good pace right now. Just like this that match last night. Yeah, these such a great way to watch the arch. Yeah. Even Tom, Topsky called me, who doesn't do Facebook, and he says uh, he was like, "Man, I watched that match last night." He goes, "Man, was that pace great?" <laughs> <laughs> And he uh, he he was in the slower match the yeah, night before, yeah. you know. It wasn't bad, but it was just it was a set longer. It was a little closer, and it was it wasn't such fast games, you know. But it, it was a real easy watch yesterday. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we were done by this after nine. Like these guys, what they finished tonight, they they might stay on the board. Look at Maine, though. Good nine mark by Maine. Decided to stay after he had the lead, and then just I found like it. He's having fun too. You like can it. see he's having fun. He's having fun. He's getting getting his partner right back into it. And uh, this is exactly what you want to do towards the end of the set. Rally up a couple wins and maybe get back in it. If not, just build some confidence heading into the 0-1. Tim, she answers. Gary takes a pause after this, his second dart, and everyone's cool. I take a time before my first dart, and everyone loses their mind. <laughs> Tim ain't wrong. That's Tim fair, ain't wrong. Fair. Tim gets the, the, the Kevin Nye rep here at the club for you, oh. you golfers. Uh, it's really not even that slow. It's so just because uh, it's pre it's pre shot. I think that's what makes it look Kev slower. Kev closed, but he didn't get to lead, so I would assume Maine would go for the close first. Oh, no points. Our right, number first. Close. He's just fucking motoring. What a shot. I mean, he wants it. He's filling up the clipboard. Yeah. And he went double on that 19, too. I agree with Mike Patterson. Tim, do whatever you want, bud. Take time. All we want to see is quality play. Some, not everyone plays at the same pace. That was a good answer. Good answer uh, by Gary. Keep yourself in the match. Force Gantz to throw a shot. Yeah, and I'm wondering. I'm not sure. Gary and Maine might know each other. I know Gary knows everybody else, and, and Maine knows everybody else. But I don't know that Gary and Maine have, have met. They probably have it like darts for dogs or something because they're both good shots. I'm sure they cross paths. But Kev knows them? Kev knows them for sure, yeah. Oh. Chicago, stuff like that. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Maine, Kevin, Maine, fuck around. They're tight. So it's a tie game. I mean... Uh, the way Maine been playing, I would assume he's about to do something t to take control of this. Spectacular, match. right? I, mean, I think that's, that's a smart that's, play. That's, that's, I think that's a smart play. You don't want to risk it, giving it up on a bull. You want to make Yancey confident. Now Yancey might close that bitch out with two darts. So we've had a couple of donations roll in Ooh. early today, and uh, – Appreciate you guys keeping the streak alive. I did. Uh, we did extend the double entries to the end of the month drawing, and uh, we got some massive prizes this month. And actually, every month going forward, we got big plans for. Uh, we got a huge, uh, big thing going off for. It's All gonna right. be a, th gonna be kind of a little. Uh, the ants was sixty-eight. Points. Couple part series. We're gonna announce that on the first of September when it's ready for uh, the September giveaway, but. We couldn't be more excited about that one, and behind the scenes, we're working for uh, bringing you some pretty cool stuff. I like that jersey. I didn't even see the back when I went down there. I just saw it in the front. I noticed the back there looks pretty sharp. All right, Maine with a hat trick to win. Yeah, he got this right. That's what he do? Let's get a little extra quick clip in there. Eight games to three. They have a lot of work to do, but you got to start with one. Yeah. I think I just heard him say the same thing. Yeah. He, and, and starts that, with one game. Yeah, that's the <laughs> attitude. Like that's it. the attitude. He's, he's hype. Yeah, like he's a smart guy. player. Smart player, man. You got to do something. Talk that shit. I knew right away. I knew right away. Like when he, when they talked about coming, uh, I was like, man, Jermaine's a good fit for the club. He's, he's just good for the stream. He likes. He's got a big energy. He's got a big game. He's good at this kind of stuff. I knew he'd be a good. Right. I knew he'd be a good stream. Six piece to start. And so far, he's been hammering the average. I would say he he probably has highest average in the set, right? It feels like. 
And I know you missed a couple of. He gambled a little bit on that shot. He just missed it. Kev, good triple. Yeah. Almost had to have it. You didn't want to. Standard Kev throws a four mark disappointed. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it was, it's, it is a little, but not when your third dart's a triple and you could have been stuck with a one or a two mark. Shot. Big shot from Yancey. He clips in seven piece. I like that. Here comes Gary Clark, Mr. Business here. So you're triple. saying there's a chance. Here we go with Maine again. Does he go for the white horse here? Uh, does he stuff he does, points? I have a feeling it's going to hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a safe evaluation. Man, this guy means business. I hear him chirping a little too. Yeah, they definitely down there getting it in. They're putting on a good show for the 150 viewers out there. Okay. So Kev comes up, takes a, takes a lead. That's all you can really do there. Force against the point. Yeah, make him play a little bit. Triple, get that. Yeah, you could have closed or triple on that one, but. Gary doesn't miss the trip 19 much. I feel like that 19's gone first dart. And I don't mind the close there. No, it's the, it's the right play. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. He know it's probably a little risky with main behind you. <clears throat> yeah, so he takes the smart route and then just goes all point to be safe. And I feel like if we see uh we see trip trip from from Maine on these first two, he's definitely gonna be trying to fill that seventeen. He's gonna stay now. Manages to take a two point lead. Sounds like Travis Caulfield's eating good out there tonight. Porterhouse and crab legs. Excellent play from yeah, Kev there. Good shot. It was a shot that really took, took control. It was a game changer. Yeah, 16 or 15 for Yancey, and it's still okay. You're still right in this leg, but you got to have a big shot. He gets one. Mike, thanks for the like out there. Michael good Punch. Grind, good grind. Shattering our record with 152 in here today is pretty impressive. Grateful for all y'all. Look at this smile. Yeah, <laughs> you know Gary, guys leave when they're smiling. Well, I think yeah. it's because Gary went all points. Yeah. Think, you know, because he only hit a single last dart, so he was up 100. Yeah, and that's no such a yeah <laughs> such a Gary play, too. You know what I mean? Like, you could argue it leaves the other team alive. You could argue that. I think Maine took it like, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. That's why it's all smiles. I feel like those are the most dangerous opponents, man. You do something <laughs> like that, and you turn around, this motherfucker's standing there smiling, about to throw a nine mark on your ass. Good shot by Kev. Shut the board down. Really sealed this game. I mean, this was anyone's game. Both teams, I mean, 5 0. -oh. Brent says, <laughs> Main throws like Rapid Ricky. He's fast. I don't know if anybody's as fast as Rapid Ricky, though. Hey, and I can hear it up here. He, that, that dart he throws is smacking that board. So we're going to reset, get to 0-1. The players will probably break a couple minutes, loosen up. Pretty good opening set. I think uh, I think the, the the home team had a slight advantage here a little early. They they looked a little loose early in the, early I in the set. I definitely felt they had the advantage in this first one just because – the looseness you know? yeah and the fact that you know you never know how the travel is going to be for these guys you know what i mean yeah. like man and, and man and Yan's had a long ride man. sitting down th thinking about it for a couple hour ride is definitely a different yeah and approach. you know it's all hype you know these guys pulled up in in, in 10 minutes was that a four bowl win kev asked did did he uh Four bowl, well, we technically with the parlay, it's it's a four bowl to pass and score. So you, you suppose, I think that's how we do it. I'll have to review the tape, but that possibly was the uh, that possibly was a qualified shot. I didn't I didn't notice it, but I think it was just uh, I think it just just an overcall there. The the four bowl on the parlay meant like for the pass and the lead, then the win. 
four bowls or better. Four bowls and a single anything, four bowls and a triple anything, five bowls, six bowls. But it has to be when you toe the line with the deficit where you have to have the four bowls. So it doesn't look like that would be qualified because I believe you guys already had the lead. <laughs> Patterson said, make it a two, two and a half hour break and I'm going to be up there to help out Maine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mike, uh, he was Mike. there. They was practicing. <laughs> like, was practicing together last night. Hey, you, you gotta love it though. I tell you what, Mike's a beast. Yeah, you good? You good? There's food in the fridge out there too. There's some. Uh, there's a little bit of that. Hey, I'd be I'd be good with that. I'm never turning down tacos from the hood. Not from the truck. So, 501 double in, double out. The bull is split. The nine dart out is worth $200. An out over 161 or higher is worth 50 bucks. Um, I think there might have been another, another thing or two. They have a list of the prop bets down there, but um, hopefully we'll see a lot of guys trying to get in on that 20 so they can keep it alive at the nine darter. All right, so what we got here? Let's see if Yance can get in here early and set the tone. So Yancey, first one in, that's gonna be big for them. Let's see if Gary can uh, can get in after his, his partner failed to get in as well. He gets in first start. Oh, let's get the ton 80 counter up. Main after missing the opening on the first one, he gets in with the ne next three darts perfect and gets himself right into the game at three four one after six. Kev looked to get away with one there with that double twenty. Turns it into a turns it into a Shanghai one twenty in. So Nancy getting it in last round. Let's see if he could capitalize with the big score. Not bad though. After you got in first round, you're not too too far behind, but that skinny nineteen, I gotta or that skinny seven's a pain in the ass. I don't know what's going on. I gotta take that. Tap the tap the bottom one, man. Yeah, that's good. It's no. It's that skinny seven. I think when me and Ricky took the boards apart. On the back, they have those three little prongs, and I think when we were tapping it out, one of them broke off. And I think skinny seven on the side of the 19 right there only registers one out of maybe like four or five. The triple works, the double works, but that's skinny for something. So it really sucks for guys that go at the 19. It never hurts you really in cricket too much, but when you're firing at the 19, it can, it can be frustrating because backing it up. So... So Maine cruising after not getting in in the first round, he went 160 on the round two to get in and then uh, backed it up with 100. Yeah, 99 piece always go go a long way. Let's see what Gary does here. I like trip 18 on this because the single leaves big fish. But.
Oh, we you know we clipped that one, OT. We got we got that one. Even got it on the the match call board. So Kevin needs with another triple here. Now that puts puts some pressure on Yance. I, I feel like you have to have at least a 130 score here. Ish. Something's up with that seven. It is frustrating, especially if you're struggling a little and you you know what I mean? Like if you feel like you missed the dart and you gotta wait. But it worked for him. He comes back and picks up 121. Now if you're Gary here, trip 18's the smart shot on the first dart, because single will leave you triple and double bull. And I promise you ain't no other segment's gonna mess up. That's seven. I, I forgot to get down in there today. See, that's why I like 18. You'd still have a shot in and out here. And now, Maine's got a shot in and out. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I feel like he might hit it. Ricky already on it. He said, we'll fix that tomorrow. Uh, Damn, that's unlucky, Maine. 45 here. 45, maybe 57. Yeah, 57, so. Is this a 180 count? Feels like, I felt like it was gonna be. So what chance he's sitting at here, he's at 216, they're at 108, he needs 180 really. Well, 180 is 36, but Gary would be able to go out. It's a good 140 because if something bad happens with this, it, or if he goes high, if he leaves double 20 and goes high, but he won't leave double 20. Gary, hey, Gary doesn't play with the double 20. He doesn't, he doesn't leave it for himself. Yeah. So pretty good game one as we see a couple players averaging uh, pretty much everybody in the 30s, 28.3. And the low, and that was with three players not getting in in the first round. So they were able to pick that up. Steve Pincone says, wow, they moving fast. Yeah, they are. They, are. they really are. We set the tone. We set the tone for the weekend. We've had different pace all, all week, and, and all three have been great matches. So, Yeah, it's big-time darts. I want to see. I want to see somebody get the front six. I want somebody to have a shot at that nine dart out tonight. It, at least one player. Yeah, it was. Olivia says they're making me sweat. <laughs> yeah, they're moving. It's energy. We can hear it up here too. You know, there's there's good positive dot vibe down there. You can hear guys supporting players on both teams. So they seem. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of times when we had a match set up for a while, it, it's usually good play like this. They've known for, I think we set this up just at the end of last month. Yancey had some traveling to do, obviously went out to ESPN with Dan Burke and was hanging out there watching that. And then I believe he leaves Wednesday morning or something this week. He's going somewhere else out of town. And uh, so we picked the 15th on a Monday. A while ago and he made sure that was good with Maine and Kevin Gary got it all lined up and so they've known about this for every bit of two weeks which in my opinion makes for a better match you got time to look forward to it you got you know yeah they got they all probably got to see each other at dart bash I know I know Maine was down there I know Clark was down there I know Kev was down there I I'm pretty 90 not yeah Yancey was down there actually not not 99 percent sure 100 percent sure Yancey was there over the weekend so they ran into each other, probably got to talk about it a little bit. and We appreciate it, man. We love getting new faces on the stream, especially when they come in bringing a smoke. Yeah, and Yancey and Maine haven't disappointed. They came right in and playing good quality play. And and uh, I like what they're bringing. So there he is, right on the qualifying number, 161. Let's see if he can get in Day Day's pocket. Let's see if he can get in Day Day's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, hell yeah, he's looking at it. Yeah, yeah, he knows. I, it's wrote down on the board. I went down and told him individually. May knows, believe me. Heather Lopez, thanks. Says thanks for going live. Thank you for tuning in and uh, and all the support and the shares and everything out there and the amount of uh, donations we've had the last few days. I just put in a, a three hundred and forty three dollar order on Amazon this morning for uh, two new cameras we got coming in, some wiring, some camera mounts, and uh, the sound, and and that's all been uh, paid for and helped with the viewers and the players and the generosity here at the club. So. We're grateful to have such good uh, such good followers and players that have no problem pulling up on a work night and putting on a show, and we got the easy job around here. Gary, Gary piles in, uh... oh. Yeah, who was he going for? It? Hell yeah, he was going for it. He knows, too. He knows. Yeah. I feel like this is Maine's game for the taking. Uh, 149 does go. You can go 60, 57, 32. But, you know, that's no walk in the park. So, 323, 3-4. So, Yancey needs a big score here. 3-3-4 three, three, total. Oh, big shot, Yancey. There's a seven that counted. All of them did. We got that seven working. That's because the board the board saw Ricky's comment that he was coming to fix it tomorrow. All right, so Gary can uh, make a slider now to the season. Not gonna see it. So no matter what, um, oh, he can. Uh, He got the freeze. Two, three, four. He sure did. Man, that hurts. Yance has played a he played a good game too. He's yeah, he's he's Yeah. Going singles, single, single, and then digging deep. And it, it's probably a little frustrating for Maine. You feel Gary leaving himself 40. He doesn't do that very often. He's not a big guy, that, not a big lover of the double tops. I, I feel like a lot of players that play here use the double 16, don't use the double tops. But the one bad thing about the Grudge Series format, you've got the hardest format to throw the nine darter in. But that's because only our premium players play the double in, double out. You know, we, we're not going to put somebody up there that, that's not going to – we're doubling double outs just going to frustrate you and hurt your game. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's – these guys probably all play double in, double out at their their state tournaments and stuff like that because they're all in the – they're all top division players. So, trip 20, trip 20 is the freeze. If you hit the trip 20, trip 20 is the freeze. He does. And there's no bust in sight. Double 13 is as safe as you could be. No, no, no. Don't take it out. You got a free roll. Yeah. Don't triple, the main said. Don't hit the triple. He said, do whatever you want. Don't hit the triple. That was a good look. That was a good shot, Yancey. That was clutch. I'd clip that one, but the long break in between makes it hard. You know, the because that was a good free shot right there. Yeah, that that's what you want to see. That's what Maine been waiting for right there. And that's what Yance been waiting for. They know they got the game to come in here and go back and forth all night long with these guys and shots shots like that shots like that pump you up. Well, 
Is anyone else yelling at their screen, Michael Ask? <laughs> so we got it tied at a game of peace. Yep, player two. You got it right there, that button. So 133 viewers out there live. A little seven mark on the 19 worth of viewers. Boy, that's the second time he got away with one there. That dart looked a little high. We'll get clipped. So nine dart is live. Olivia says she ain't just yelling at the TV. She hopped her out her seat to yell at the TV. Yeah, you definitely don't want to hit the button on that 26. There was no way. I almost yelled. Yeah, I was literally about to stomp on the floor like, do not do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think Maine has started every game with 100 so far. Except, well, he didn't get in round one of first game, but round two he went 160. Next game he went 100 in. There's another 100 in. So big ins go a long way. Matt Cogswell in the house. What's going on, my man? Good to see you. I knew the energy was coming. Randy, welcome in. I appreciate the new follow. Hope you like what you're seeing. Kev with the front four. I can't remember. I might, I might have put ten dart around the page. I don't know if I did. These guys are. Yeah. One forty here goes a big way. Gets the hundred. Yeah, we need we need more main around here for sure, man. Is uh, he's playing some good darts. Appreciate you. Max says not much. Love the club. Yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, last last couple uh, last couple months where really things been going really good since the since we did the classic. Uh, we had a big big stream that day and a great final with Dan Burke and uh, Jake Stay Farm. And uh, it seems like everything that since the Grudge series, all that's been kind of falling into place. We do a lot of these. Doubles, basically, just kind of exhibition. Just a few guys looking to play, and we try to line up what we believe will be a fun competitive match for all four players, and that's how we put this crew together. Yancey actually uh, was out here, did some uh, did some work for me. Does a great job with. Uh... Oh, look at that! Thank you, Alicia, for the fifty dollar donation. Appreciate you. You know what? Yeah, and it, you know what? Uh... Frankie Walton did, donated this morning before we went live too, and I meant to mention that. Thanks, Frankie, if you're out there. I got the got a forty dollar donation. I do, did get you in there with your double entries. So that was what twenty entries for Alicia with the fifty dollar. So we're uh, looking forward to see who wins. Uh, some of the, the Josh looking forward to working with somebody making that custom jersey. You got. We're looking forward to see who picks the uh, the live stream here at the club. And is your mic off? Oh man, is your mic? You guys, nobody been here in day day the whole time. We just noticed his mic was off. Maybe you were picking him up on mine, but only since your break, so you missed the like, first two games. But because it, otherwise it doubles, like for some reason, like I push it over there and it'll pick me up. My bad on that. Yeah, Ooh, Stripe chance, says it was uh, off. Nah, nothing really can happen here. Gary's going to put a nice this, shot This is an interesting game right here, though. I mean, if Gary misses. If Gary struggles, at 140 will do it for sure. But if Gary hits a 140, you're safe. You know, even 100. So what's he at? 279, 259, 101. Yeah, at one, 180 would be. 180, 180 would do it. 208. No. One. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, they're both safe, most likely. Uh, Kev, Kev can't freeze. Kev has to go out 51-32. So 16 to leave him a double bowl. Kind of have to go that way, right? Yeah. 
So what's he going to do for a shot here? You could go 20. You could go bullseye. I feel like the pros go 19 on that shot. Like, come on, man, with the check Ooh. out. I like that. There's just no so a good, in that guy's yeah, shot. Yeah, it's a good three-dart finish. So he's he's uh he's, he's got him a three-dart finish. Mark like that shot. I did too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, they bet some friendly behind the cab got away with two. Yeah. It, it, but I tell you what, that's why I like that top shot, man. <laughs> Mike Patterson says on mute day day. <laughs> Yeah, that was my bad. I uh, I reached over, turned it off. He went outside, little little, little quick yeah. intermission during break, and uh, came back in. I forgot to tell him to turn his mic back on. I was on. kicking nothing but knowledge too oh, for man. a hot ten minutes. <laughs> Muted. Jake Allen, what's up, kid? He asked what's up, what happened with cricket. Uh, Kevin Gary got the click cricket. I think it was nine to four. They got out to a big start, and then uh, they kind of started to find a rhythm a little later. And uh, rallied off a couple, but it was 9 4 there. And uh, Yancey and Jermaine have the small lead here in the 0 1. Kev with a slack round, uh, Maine can take take a little control. I mean, he hits 85, yeah. but he still took the lead. Yeah, Kevin, Gary, they haven't exactly been automatic. I mean, they, they've, been, they've been having to work for it. Oh, especially this 0 1, yeah. Maine's been on them. Yeah. Steve Massey says, what's good, Day Day? What up? What up? <laughs> Steve Massey. I Tim. met that guy. Tim said, Day just finished that church. Oh, he thought he was talking, but it was all in his head. <laughs> Tim. Tim all looking right. forward. He got a big match. What's up, Chucky Lawrence? Checking in. Kev finally finds a triple with his third dart that time. It was almost going to go two rounds, so good to see that. <laughs> you know, Maine wants it right here. Hey, Ted, we're all, we're all for the flavor that Mike brings to the chat, man. We, uh, we like it. We need, we need more. We yeah, need more. Yeah. So let's see. Is it a big turn for Gary here? His partner could get out in six with perfection, 180-150. Yancey's in the same, pretty much the same exact spot Yancey, or uh, that Gary was just in there. Big, want to score at least right around 100 points here. You get away with 85, I think. Find a triple. Definitely yes. need a triple here. Yep. Could hear him from here. He said, not what I needed right there, and he's not wrong. Kev really good at these six dart finish. Like it's like when he knows it's gonna leave him the out, he hits it. You know what I mean? Good one forty by Kev. <laughs> he needed it. He was almost falling behind, uh, giving Maine the, the advantage. Yeah, you don't want to give Maine no slack right now. He's starting to pick up momentum. He played great in the first set, and he seems to be kind of getting better as the night goes on. So you just don't want to see those players continue to to elevate if you're the opponent. You know because uh, it can be dangerous. Be a little scary. All right, Gary ties his partner. So, for anybody had the perfect pair wager at eleven to one, you hit the one ninety for game three. <laughs> you would have hit that. Went back addicted to sports gambling again this month. I was trying to quit and kept getting all these bonuses. So, I have to take a look at some MLB scores later. All right. Kev sets himself with a two darter. Listen to that. Patterson said, fun fact, Maine just cleaned out the local trip pot on Friday night. 900 to dart. That's a beautiful shot. Ooh. I thought that was Kevin Dole's job on that side of town. Kev been working them trip shots for years out there, ain't he? I feel like every time I see Dole, he tells me, yeah, I just made two grand last week at Old Town. 
All right, Maine's right behind him. I mean, Yance is struggling a little bit. So next. Yeah, Yance is in trouble. Anything 140 or better here, there's almost nothing Yancey can do. He got a shot now. One, 125 would hurt a little. 140 is 168, so still dangerous. But 140, bare minimum to maybe have a hope. 180 would be real good for him. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. Oh, 125. Stripes knows what I'm talking about. He says, yeah, that $1 wins 200 It gets me every time the perfect pair of double. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, my God. God. But he's... He's, he's not froze. The no. boss, the only... What happened? I didn't... I think Kev went... Um, I don't know. Did the... It wasn't a board malfunction. It was just a miss, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So 57 is going to leave him 36. You got to assume that's what he's going after. Yeah, I like their music choice yeah. down there today. Them guys getting it in, too. I don't know what channel they got on, but if I bet. If you're like main, you got to feel like this is a free one in a way. You got to take this out. Right here. I, you could go 54. I, I don't know if that's what you do. Mm. Uh, trip 10. Tough. Trip 10 here to leave 32. Uh, but you need score. I mean, 60 might be a better play because the freeze. Trip 10. He went trip 10. Good and setup. Good and setup yeah, Maine. smart play. Yeah. Smart play by me. No surprise at all. We'll all be on these two players right here. I feel yeah. Like. 54 here is going to leave him 36. Let's see if he can convert. Double 18 to tie the match. Yanked it. Oh, Ripped it a little. Lot. If I'm Yance, I, I just I would just be thinking 180. Again. Okay, Chucky said he went single 20, trip 20, and must have hit the 10 or the 13. So oh, he had the double mm. six and oh. Still got a dart. Yeah, I don't know why it's giving him such a hard time today. Yeah, there you go. That's so that's a good shot. So we're even here. What did double tap? Yeah. I got you. We're at two. They, they yeah. have the official score always, but. Who's? Is he asking them or us? Yeah, they all Deuces. know. I heard him okay. all say it down there. Okay. So we deuces right now. Mike Patterson encouraging the the Ohio fans to get out there. We love, I tell you what, we get a lot of good support from the Ohio players, man. We got quite a few Toledo guys to come and these guys coming in from Lorraine and well, I'm not exactly sure what like, time uh, Yancey's in. Ohio players for yeah, sure. Yeah, we play a ton of darts in Ohio. A lot of our guys do do all the everything with Show Walter and four one nine entertainment down there. So they uh we've been going to their trip shots and luck of the draws for shit almost twenty years, some of us. So maybe Go white. Have, uh, Go white, my man Sheehan. Get I feel ends are just so important too. Like I feel like, man, it's like it's just so easy to play relaxed when your first dart double is going yeah. in. You know, when you're in e even if you start. never like if you go the whole set and you don't get into the second round without having to get in, or if you do, you do something like they did earlier where where you come in with a one five two. It's like it just sets a different mind tone. You just feel like okay, Mike. Yeah, Mike did clarify. Yancey's in Lorraine County as well, so. I can remember coming out there playing uh, that drive to Lorraine County, playing at Quaker Lube and all that in the All Ohio shootout back in the Pat Webb and and everybody was running all that down there, man. So many good times down there with all those guys. That was a lot of fun playing with Greg and Brandon, Doug Green, Chucky Lawrence played with us a few times down there.
thing than the Jays he's been doing. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't get it, but he's just such a, he's one of the strongest players here, so I don't question him, but like day like today, it doesn't look like he's he's been real good after the break, where the other day he was doing a lot, and it seemed like he was, uh, there's our GOAT checking in, Howard Hill, what up? That could be his son, I noticed that uh, Junior followed the other day. Main with a ton, off the one hole, he's got to feel like. We'll just go ahead and start pu start punching those in for Maine. Main, Maine's an automatic 100 right now. I think if you told him he could take 100 or shoot, he'd shoot for the chance to get 180. <laughs> Kev's been a little bit more grinding today. It's been automatic, but he's been tough. Yeah, he ain't been uh, off. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the same with all of them. Like, Yancey hit a little bit of a slow start first couple of games, but he's he's found it here this last last half hour or so. He's playing a lot more like himself, so we like to see that and kind of settle in. That'll happen sometimes with the first uh, first time on the live stream. Yeah, it is hard to pull up at a place playing two people that, you know, this is where they play. They, they even come here to practice. I mean, literally, you know what I mean? Like, they, they definitely feel like a home court. Like you said, Lorraine, straight. how are you, baby? He's, like you said, it's automatic hundred. Another automatic hundred. Yeah, he's been uh. Kev can use a ton right here. Brandon, what's up? Appreciate you. Thanks for the like out there. Staying right at 130 viewers. These guys are these guys are popular. I guess that's what happens when you get the some Ohio rock stars in the building. Okay, yes, I like it. Yeah, that's a great shot. <laughs> that's a good shot. And with, you can uh, hear. Does he sound a little looser? Yeah. You hear him down there crack a joke after. You can hear him laughing, having a good time. That's all he needed. That's a good shot with yeah. your uh, partner in the one hole throwing smoke. You know. Regain the lead in this uh, set real quick. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like Maine's going to set us up up good here, right? I mean, the way he's been playing all night, you would expect at least 100, right? Yeah. Lorraine, uh, doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Uh, always feeling good around here on stream day. Got a got a couple days off after this. I'll pick up the little man tomorrow from daycare till uh, go back to his mom's uh, Thursday night for a couple days. And... Uh, so a couple little easy days coming up and uh, two more big streams this week. So I should be in a good mood all week with all these good darts to watch. Excited about that. Kev sets himself up pretty uh, well, too. They both set themselves up with something. Who's that? That's Gary way back at 388. Yeah, Gary, so he's, he's not, you know, in terrible shape yet, but he definitely has to start doing some work. <laughs> They're keeping an eye on how much Patron when Yancey it's, should it's, kick in. He's, it's got, bad, no. he's got marks on the bottle where, where the, the level of play. <laughs> I know he's definitely got some Patron down there. There's no doubt he brought a little Patron. 17 shot for me. I didn't really see what they brought in. I think that. I mean, the 19, he went. Uh, what was he? 1 2 6? Yeah, 19 yeah shot I, I like the 19 there better, but, um, you, you know, it's just because you just get two gonna, shots. Uh, yeah, I agree. Kev's just going to get low here. Nothing he can do. Yes, just stay solid. Do what Cat you Middleton, do. thank you for that donation there. I'll get you on the list. That'll get you eight entries into the end of the month drawing, which you will actually be here the day we do that because we're going to do the drawing during ladies' night. Okay. Good 96 by Yance. I'm really excited for this drawing. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, Gary's in bad shape. There's nothing he can do here. No, he'd just get ready for the next game. Throw a couple triples, stay loose. I mean, 188, if technically, he, 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 he could bust. He ain't gonna bust. He should go 18. I guess that's the only scary dart where you could bust. Yeah, but now that, that double seven have been active funny. Well, he didn't bust, but he has seven left. That so fucking he... stupid seven. It almost makes me want to tell him to switch boards, but the ones are a stream board usually. Yeah. 
it's probably a smart shot because you don't want to bust there where it's like now you're gonna probably have a free roll at the seven yancey's got a shot he's hitting the 19s well if he goes double triple triple he's gonna have one dart to win it with the double 20. It's so. really it wouldn't help anything. He could have hit a three and left double two and gave himself one extra dart next round. But if he busted there, then Kev would have taken that out. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, oh, man. A hundred here uh, does it. Michael, uh, the, so for the drawing, we, we draw at the oh. end of the month. Uh, oh, 92 my. got him by one. The, so the end of the month drawing, we have five five prizes this month, and what we do is every uh, for every five dollar donation that somebody makes, you get one entry into the end of the month drawing. Um, the, during this stream today and yesterday's stream, we ran double entries, so five every five dollars will actually get you two entries. Uh, we have uh, there's a couple of custom or a couple of big prizes. I would say our our, our grand prize is uh, Josh to drive to design a custom jersey with uh, Josh's apparel. Work directly with Josh and create your own jersey. Uh, we also have uh, a two hour live stream that comes for the winner and up to three friends. And we'll set uh, we'll set everything up for you. We have commentary, we'll have an official, we'll give you two hours, we'll get you in here a half hour early to warm up. And that's gonna be a big deal, I think. We also have, uh, you can win one of the MDC jerseys. There's uh, one of our desk lights. We have a uh, dart case. I think that's it. So basically what we'll do is uh, we'll spin the wheel on. We'll spin the wheel and the number one first person to win gets their pick from the five prizes. And then once they pick, we'll spin it again. And the so next win. Yeah. yeah, he does. The next winner will pick. And just like that, so they're all gone. So it should be fun, and there's a there's a lot of cool a lot of cool stuff in the drawing that that can be won, and uh, I think uh, I think people have a lot of fun with it. I'm anxious to see who's going to win the the live stream at the club here, and who they bring, and you know how that's going to go. It'll be fun for us. And Josh loves working with with people with the new jerseys and stuff, so I think that'll be fun for somebody to win a win a custom jersey, design the whole thing yourself. I like Patterson's style there. He said, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to donate whatever Yancey averages in the next game. <laughs> so let's go. Let's see that nine darter, Yancey. Let's see that nine darter, baby. <laughs> oh, he's in first dart. That's going to help. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. Man, did he, he might have read the clock. comment there. Ricky, thanks for the like out there. So far, in there with uh, all three players. Well, no, actually, we got one. Kev didn't get in, but everybody else scored triple yeah. digit in. So, should be for an exciting leg. Solid 95 by Bane in the one hole. Looking good. Kev gets in, but. Uh, Here's his 100. His 105. 105. Yancey's coming after Patterson's pocket, ain't he? <laughs> Look at him go here. <laughs> He's having his, oh, yes. his best run, his best game to set so far, averaging uh, averaging over 31. And right in the time where they need it, you want you, going in the one holes when you want to definitely do your best scoring. Keep you know, Ooh. don't want to give away those uh, don't want to give away those starts. Gary with a slap from. I, mean, I think Main's, Main, Main's due for a 180 here. Slack round, my man. Kev can get himself back in here with a little 140 or something. These are usually the shots that Kev thrives on. He's just never really out of a game. You know what I mean? Like, he can play a little bad, this and that, but he can also pop off nine, seven marks in a row. You know what I mean? So, he, he's he got a 
really good practice routine. He plays with a lot of really good players. And uh, obviously with him being a next-gen next gen team member, he, he practices with all those guys. And he uh, puts a lot of work in to be good at this game. All right. This is a fire game right here, ain't it? Gary puts himself in a good spot with that shot. So we got Maine. Maine coming up, right? From 226. Yep. So even 100 is good. 126 ain't bad. You get 140 here, you're feeling real good. 180, we all know. 180, it's all but over. So he gets the 140. Now we'll see how he shoots at that 86. I like the 18 to start. 54 leaves 32, and 18 will leave you 18 and double bull. So... But look at Kev's rally back in after being the only player to miss the end in the opening round. Now he's down there. And one of the lowest ones, just just 15 points behind me. That was the second one. Second town 80, yeah. Yep. I forgot who threw the first one. Paula Clay, welcome. How are you? Another big ton 40 from Yancey. So these guys really finding their stride in this game. Averaging, averaging both of them in the 30s. All four players over the 30 point per dart mark. Not anymore though. Gary just dropped to 27, but I don't think it's really going to matter because I feel like Maine's going to end this right here. I got him doing it with two darts. Get it done. He gets, he gets it done with three darts. So. So, said you tell me after. <laughs> yeah, that's what I love. Like, it's not only it's not only competitive and fun down there. It's also chippy. You know what I mean? Like, it will definitely. Gary was like my first time. That's what you tell me after. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, that's funny right there. We got them at threes down there. I think they're asking what the scoreboard is. 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is correct. Go ahead and chirp them. Yeah, I'm not even going to chirp. They know what it is. They just talk loud. I always feel like they're yelling to us, but they, they're not. Brent Bowman, thanks for the like out there. Appreciate you. Still hanging out at the 150 viewer range. It's nice to have celebrities here at the club here. We get, <laughs> we get big turnouts. Norquist, what's up, brother? Our, the official official around here. He actually was going to come and help the guys do the boards and the scoreboards, but he had a, he had a bowling event that he had pre-registered for. So these guys are all fine-tuned veterans. They know how to control the board and fix stuff. So didn't really feel like we had to have an official for this one. Yeah, I agree. Jumped in right into some guys. Did Kev come in with the 160? Kev came in with 100. Oh, is it Maine come in 160 then, right? Somebody came in 160 this round, too. Was it 160? It was uh, don't do it one. Yeah. Or it has to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then the, look, yeah. the clip things are up there, too. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Get you a 180. Get a look at this. I want to give you guys the envelope. I want. I got that two hundred dollar. I cannot wait to let clip and video edit the first nine darter here at the club. We're gonna put the soundtrack with it. It's gonna be lit. One of the. I, I'm gonna say one of the best J Cole songs going hard down there, man. Here. Middle Child always been my favorite cut by that guy, man. He just goes too hard on that one. Katie's Katie's right. She said it was Jermaine. You probably <laughs> didn't clip it. I mean, sometimes I, I don't do the ends as much because I notice what I'm going through. There's so many, and by the 01, we got a donation coming in there. <laughs> Pat, Daddy, keep it to his word. and <laughs> di Dials in exactly, exactly what you ain't see ever. So we appreciate you, Mike. Was, I'll get uh, you down for your double entries. 30.83. Yep, so we'll, we'll let's see. That would be... Uh, 
Three v six, twelve. We'll give you thirteen for that one. Baker's dozen. He, he went out there too, because Yancey could, and the Yancey had his best game of the night too. You know, not maybe not his best, but my, probably the highest yeah. average. You know. Got in good. What's up, Sid? So good looking out on the love there, Patterson. We appreciate you, brother. Here's that 180 from Maine. Sure. <laughs> I love it, dude. He talks the whole time on his way back. They all. Yeah, he's playing good darts. He's playing great darts, actually. I've been telling the guys some of the some of the players around the club not, don't know Jermaine yet. They, they maybe haven't played with them. I was like, oh, you you're gonna like what you see, man. He brings it. So a loose 60, which could actually hurt them. One eighty five two yeah, three. Th no, nah, he's good. He's safe, right? Yeah. Not frozen. Yeah, three thirty three three yeah, three five. So he just made. took this out last game, didn't he? Was it this one hundred one? No, he had eighty six, but it, he checked the one hundred one for sure. He took a one hundred one yeah, earlier yeah, he tonight. Did, he did. He did. He went trip twenty. Yeah. <sighs> good luck, man. Sadly, he he may be frozen now because they got six darts, and unless Yancey goes 180, uh, Gary could fumble the rock. But if Gary don't fumble the rock right here, it's it's all but over. Yeah. Because that was a smart play to leave that 40. So one, 303, I, normally I would say it's a 19 shot, but here you need as much score as you can get. And the reason it's a 19 shot is because if you hit the 7 mark, you land on the big fish. 133 will leave you 170 from 303. So okay, and just one. Needs, um, not to bump. And they're good. Yeah, I agree. I agree, uh, Mike. We've had a hard time getting figuring out why the stars don't work, and, and that's even with Josh Sloan on the team, who pretty much knows everything about the internet. So we're not we're not sure why they've done that, but <laughs> it probably didn't matter there. Yeah, he knew that didn't matter. All that did was really just, hurt, you know. I think he went fast seven. Which is funny because the seven's the shit target on the board. I knew it was gonna come into play today. So is that 4-3 Kev, right? Kev So a little bit hurt there with the freeze. I did let maybe one slip away, but with Maine coming to the line, going first. I'm sure Yancey and uh, Maine got their eyes on tying this up at four. Let's see if he can match the intensity with another big 1-6-0 in here. Nope, but he does get in on the second dart and 60. Yeah, he has not struggled with that in at, at, Not at all. Not at all. Not allowed either. Kev coming right behind him. No triple, but he's in. Boys are in. Yeah, I think maybe one day we're... we're although the they said three days oh, in a row you have to do four hours or something like this. this Dance is in. We did a little three-day set. This is our third day in a row, and uh, I think we, we went five hours with Brent. We went three hours yesterday, and then this match here is going into hour two in about 68 seconds. All right, all these pulls are in. Yeah, our, most of our streams are around the four-hour target area, but we, we'll have, like, our ladies' event. That, that one will probably take between six and eight hours, along with the uh, singles tournament that we have this Saturday. So maybe uh, maybe I'll set something up next week for, so we do a big, long stream on Friday. Because I think that's what they say is on, on the, the checklist. It says four hours, two days in a row, so... 
Maybe we'll put something up Friday. Yance with a slack round. Definitely got to uh, start thinking about picking it up early here because uh, Maine's in the one hole, and he's playing good. Yeah, I don't know that he's lost a game from the one hole yet today. I think he was frozen. I mean, in cricket, cricket they did, obviously. But, uh, like, I think it, he was froze one time. Yeah, he could, that could have happened. But he's been in with mostly 100 in. I'd say his, oh, his yeah. ends have been three digits most of the time, so. I think they cut you off at eight, Mike. I think it says uh, at eight you have to you have to start a new stream. Uh, I'm pretty sure, cause we we did our uh, Tank Memorial Classic, which is like our, our main event in the summer, uh, a little while back, and that we finished that. It was just about to go to a second stream. It was like seven hours and forty something minutes or something. It's a work shift. It is. It really that was a work day. It was yeah. seriously. But I think that's what we'll do. Maybe what we'll do is because we got a we got a good match going on Thursday that should go a while, and we got a big event on Saturday. So I might just I might just have an open house on Friday and just like stream a practice sesh or something, and just let guys play on the live stream for a couple of hours. Oh, Randy, thanks for that. He said after you hit after you hit your the hours you need, you can go over eight hours. Okay, so. That's good insight to know. Main with another consistent hundred. Cat leaves himself the first out though. Come on, Yance. Yeah. Not a bad, not a horrible, but I mean. <laughs> Be in the one hole. The last thing you want to do is freeze, though. You know your partner. You, of course, you want to freeze your opponent, but. <laughs> Gary just be uh, doing his own thing. I don't know, like, I don't know what he's thinking. Yeah, he's just wild. Wow. <laughs> but look, him even made step back. Like, okay, I'm not sure what just happened there. <laughs> I think he was making sure they weren't counting for fifty apiece. Probably, you know, just just to make sure that I. That's what I always do. <laughs> like, wait, did those just count as fifty? There's that 101 yep. again. Maine will have his third look from 101. Maybe. Possibly, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, he got scared. Yeah, that would have been a good place for a double 18 on that third dart. He might have got, he might have got a little nervous. We know that ain't the truth. Kev, don't get nervous here. Yeah, now they're in nothing but uh, good shape because uh, your main can't do much. Oh, that's hilarious. You throw an inflatable tub in the commentary. Behoot and flip to it, Casey. That's what the ladies on Twitch do. <laughs> oh, man, he's... That's not a bad idea. Probably actually would get a few viewers to hang out for that. So it was froze again. That's got to be it. Yeah, he's got to be a little disappointed. I could I could see a day where we get that set up with Nestor and Patterson pulling up, man. I I could make that happen, boys. So 5-3, important game right here. Not in trouble yet, but I mean, definitely don't want 6-3. So yeah, it, it's right playing now. good enough to come back from any deficit. It's just if they, you know, if they play really good. And one bad shot can take you out of a leg here, you know, where, where Yancey's he's been playing a lot better in the old one. He struggled in the early legs of cricket, but got it together in the second half of that set. And I feel like he's played pretty well in this set. Maine's been... Maine's been a leader getting in early, scoring big rounds, but I feel like uh, at any time, I, it would not surprise me if Yancey and Maine rail off three in a row. They have to. Kev didn't get in. Yancey's got to get in. He got to make something count. There it is. She ain't. She ain't looking for the 
the cleavage and the tub shots. So Gary goes at double 20, which he never usually does, but gets in with the double five early. Philip, thanks for the share. Kim Wallace, uh, 180, and then clip it. Yeah, you got it. Kim Wallace, I, I love that. We actually, uh, that is an event that we, we've kind of talked about, kind of like uh, we were thinking maybe like different bars, like a bar challenge kind of, where the two players in the World Cup format with the singles and the doubles. That is something that we're working on. I, I've always loved the World Cup format. I think it's so much fun. Yeah, Yancey already lower than Kev, even though he hasn't scored that great this game. Neither has Kevin, and um, Gary's scored just okay. Yeah. Yeah, Sydney points out that Yancey's struggling a little bit on that end. Maybe maybe try that 11-14 wire. You get the high and the low miss there. I see a lot of players use that strategy. I know my man Twitch, if he's still out there watching, he's double 14 all day. Trev, uh, Trev going right in on that double 14. Doug Green was another one. Used to love that double 14 in. It's a safe place to play, and it doesn't really hurt you. You could shoot right up to the 20 and turn that into a 148. 148 is a fine round to start a game off with. Yeah, big time by Yant. I'm going to say Maine's looking real good to have at least six darts from 181 here. Probably what I would do, uh, Kim, is I would just have the players come here in the basement, and I would just do it with a really high entry fee so it would thin the herd because everybody's going to say they want to play, but are they going to want to play when it's $250 a team? That usually gets it down, and that that's my idea for that event. One twenty-five a man, and do like a two, you know, two fifty a team, and we could probably run six teams and and pay out, you know, fifteen hundred dollars. So that's just stuff we talk about behind the scenes, but it's it's definitely something we want to put together, and it's definitely something we want to put a really high entry on, and we want to make it intense. We want to make it, you know, we're winning teams walking out of here with a thousand bucks. Day, you're, Day's mic. Yeah, no, Day's mic's back on now. Josh says his Day's mic muted. You no, know, he's he's back in. It was for game no. one and two. And Katie, uh, I see Katie asked, uh, answer Norquist. It was nine games to either three or four. Um, so, look. Yeah, see, it don't take long to fill up them 250s. The shooters will pop up. And Nestor said maybe him and Mike, or he'd be in on that, so. Always pull down with Maine or something, but Maine got a chance to take this out. I feel like six guys, we could easily host that. We don't even. We could maybe bring in a warm up board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maine's about to uh, take this out. Double two. Come on, Maine. That's sick. What was twenty one? I like it. Good, uh, Josh, I, I thought so Maine, I was Maine is now live in the shoddy parlay. He is now live in the shoddy parlay. If he can, if they can get to the second set and play more cricket, all he's got to do is win a game, towing the line, needing four bulls, bulls or more to win. Sydney Vaughn showing interest as well with, with someone, so that's good, guys. And, and make sure you keep me posted on that. Like I, I definitely, uh, I definitely. Try to write everything down, but oh, go ahead and crack the door. Hold right on here. one second, guys. They're on a short break. For you guys that know that Ben here, the parking on the street's a little tight down here on Lincoln Street. And Yancey's got the vet out tonight, so he wanted to just pull it up into the driveway. Yeah. 
Wilson, I know I know there's some Hoosiers that'll make that trip. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll be right back. Oh shit, my bad. They said right, motherfucking. Or is that you? That's you, duh. One second, guys. I'll be right back. All right, appreciate you guys hanging out during the break here. Uh, Yancey, Yancey had to park way down the street, and he's got the vet, so he went to he went to go pull it up. Um, and uh, should be back in action here in just a couple seconds. My neighbor in there, David James, what up, brother? Not sure how much you saw tonight, but we've had a had a pretty good stream rocking. The guys, uh, the guys have been performing down there. We've had some hits, some misses, some real good shots. So, been a lot of fun. We had some good donations today. People getting in on the last call for the double entries. Looks like I missed one, too. I didn't announce Catherine. I just saw that on the PayPal. Thank you, Catherine. That will get you 12 entries into the grand prize drawing. Good luck on that. So it looks like Yance is back in. I'll probably throw a couple of quick darts. Oh, yeah, and it looks like the cash app's been blowing up as well. Appreciate you. Star, she's in there with four entries. Watching the hubs do work. Travis Caulfield, thank you. In there with, uh, what would that be, six entries? Kim Wallace with 10 entries thank you sir kayla with 
Sorry, guys. I'm really slow at the math. Six, ten, 16 entries. Thank you, Kayla. Says she always loves the stream. We appreciate you. And John, John Ormiston, thank you. And he will pick up uh, 10 entries himself through the Cash App donation. So thanks for that, John, and good luck. So I think I'm all caught up. If I miss anybody, I apologize, but I definitely am going to... These back-to-back -back streams these last couple nights have both been double entries. I'm going to get everything uh, posted tomorrow so you guys can take a look. And if you made a donation, make sure that the proper amount of entries are on there for you. I try to keep it all right, but do make mistakes. I eat a lot of weed gummies, and sometimes that be getting to me. <laughs> just kidding. I mean, not, not about eating a lot, just that it gets to me sometimes. I, I, I don't usually mess up, but sometimes, you know, a lot of stuff going on in this... Uh, in the booth, stuff's flying across the screen and trying to keep score, trying to keep track of ton 80s, trying to keep track of averages. We had the, uh, we had the old English board faces, but uh, since the G3 fire switched to this all red and black, we got a really good deal with that Lance Mandernack who sells a ton of these board faces. And if you buy more than one, they're a hundred dollars a piece. So we literally just put these in. Kev found him on a darts trader. It's a Facebook page. They're really good over there. They sell a lot of equipment. They sell a lot of boards and stuff like that. So we're stuck with the red and black here, buddy. The English board was always my favorite, but players win, man. Players voted, and uh, we went with the red and black, and we like it. Remember, we had that. We had an English board, and yeah, we had a red yeah, and black yeah. in the old days. But I like the uniform. What you, whatever board you play on here, it's gonna be the same board face, same colors. You made both of them. Both of them are exactly. Yeah, the same. Yeah. I actually think board two is backwards, though. I think board two is red trip twenty. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the twenties black and the triples red, right? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, triples red. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, why. Yeah, but yeah. I always felt like that. I right. feel like trip twenty should be red. You know what I mean? Like, it's black on the in the tour, the bullshooter tour. But I. <laughs> A lot of games left, Kev, left, Kev man. You gotta gotta get it in out there. He's a little, he's not loving his performance today, but still has the lead and he's up one set to nothing. So must be doing something right. Yancey does make the switch to that fourteen eleven, and hits it on the first attempt. So maybe Sid was onto something there. So a little bit of a, yeah, yeah, that's not something we see from Kev here very often. He's been very good in this format. For any of you that didn't see, he had a heck of a match with one of our one of our local guys, Benny Smith, uh, just about a week and a half ago. Very high quality. Yeah, match. great match. Uh, 13 180s in that match, singles only. They, they 13 combined 180s. Uh, that's right. the record here for a grudge match in a one-on-one. -on -one. Main back to his normal 100. <sighs> Yeah, we're used to We don't even announce Maine's 100 ends no more because he pretty much has been doing it every game. We appreciate it, but we, uh, we feel like it's just automatic. You almost don't even have to point it out. We've come to expect it. You can see yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sure he's, uh, I mean. That next-gen jersey looking pretty crispy back there in the light. Kind of in the black oh, yeah, light. See how, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see all the, the logos and stuff popping, the Motor City and. If you don't put in a big one here. He will, though. One thing about Kev is he had, he will have a bad game here and there and maybe even a horrible game, but he's very good at recovering. He's very good at, at being his own fixer. You know, he, he's done it before, and it's just rough. Sorry about that if I just burped in the mic. That's so gross. This is my first pop in like three weeks because I didn't grocery shop today, and I'm out of bottle of water, and I've been trying not to suck down a bunch of sodas, but... I caved. I caved and grabbed the Dr. Proper. 100. <laughs> Millie says, Kev ain't coming back. Main event. <laughs> oh. 
Shots fired. Shots fired. I did find out on the break I was talking to Gary because I wasn't sure if Gary had played with Maine before. And I guess these guys played in the doubles in Vegas. It wasn't – I don't know who Maine was playing with in Vegas, though. Uh, I'm not sure who his partner was out there. But you almost he, always assume at one point in time, you know. You, well, when two players are that good in the small hand. world of yeah. darts, they're good players, and they don't live that far apart. You would think they'd cross paths. All right, Kev. I mean, no one's really that much ahead of Kev. I mean, you come in nice right here. Which he does. Like I said, Kev, I feel like he's his own, uh, you know, he's able to fix his own problems. He's really good. And I think that goes to his, give credit to his practice routine and, and not just his routine, but his team of practice. When, when he's not practicing here with our guys, he's practicing with Jeremiah or Maloney. He plays a lot of dark. He plays with Van Dershen online some on the grand board. He plays with Randy. He plays with a lot of really, yeah. really high-quality players. You can tell. There goes a nice 180 by Maine. Nice 180. Yeah, Maine, Maine's uh, feeling it. Even though uh, Kev was struggling, Gary, you know, was right on him. So, I mean, created a little separation. That's the right, right way to do it. I got to agree with Mike Patterson. He says Dr. Pepper is probably the best shit on the planet. I, I love it. Not gonna lie, definitely uh, love me some Dr. Pepper. Slow rolling this one as he takes a drink. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Kev, don't, don't, don't stop. Come on. Crystal, hunter. thanks for the. I think it was a like there. Thank you. Look like a. Star with another Cash App donation. Getting a few more entries there. Thank you, Star. So uh, all the people that have been getting in on the double entries, let's say we like to know what the, the players are looking for for the chance to win. What are the prizes you guys like the most out there? What what what, what draws you in? What makes you want to buy tickets? And what would you like to win if, if you do? We... Uh, because we try to keep stuff up there we'd want, you know. It's no point in giving yeah. away stuff nobody wants, you know. We, we try to do some of our merch, just our little, you know, custom stuff. Our logo means a lot to us here. I feel like it's a, a big part of what makes it so fun. We're just, you know, unique. People realize it's us when they see us it's because the of the logo. jerseys definitely one of the top ones I would want. Yeah, I think that I think the custom jersey is a big deal. I, I know some people live far away, but I also believe that the uh, – you know, the session obviously is going to draw some interest. Being able to bring your own friends. You don't have to worry about setting up the boards. You don't have to worry yeah. about doing nothing. We'll have someone down there to help you. We'll, we'll, you can tell us what you want to play. We'll set up a nice format for you. I mean, it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Olivia says to hang with Josh Loam. Hey, that's that's uh, that's a fun that's a fun one there. That's what, that's what I usually get to do when he's not on the board and he's up here with me. We always have a good time in the booth. Main is rolling, man. I think he's starting to feel like uh, they can win this after being down two. Oh, nice. So if we switch over to board two, which we'll do between games, Josh has set it up so that we'll be able to see the uh, we'll be able to see the prizes. So I'll do that between games. Steve Pincone says he likes the merch and a night of darts with friends. Sounds fun. Custom jersey with a couple votes. And I knew the custom jersey would be big. And it's fun working with Josh on, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a jersey. I, I worked with him on the, uh, the Southwest Survivor a little bit. We just kind of spitballed ideas. I didn't do any of the design, but we just talked about ideas for where he was going to start from. And then he takes it from there. And with, with Josh working, that's all you, you know, that's all you, you really want him being the one to lay it out, give him something. And yeah, you off. just, you just talk the same way with our, uh, same way with Heim from Jay's Customs, the guy who did our piece on the back wall there. A lot of people think that's an actual neon light sign. That's a, that's a mural. That's all airbrush work. And, uh, same way with him. We talked to him about anything and he just converts it to real life on canvas. And, uh, you know, it's nice to have those kind of people on deck. I'm not going to lie. Big team over here. I see you, cuz, in the chat with it. I mean, 
Michael power. Michael says he feels a momentum swing here. Yeah, I, I, I feel you, Michael. It does feel it does. It's starting to have the feel that, that yeah. it's going to get to the third set. But I mean, you know, Kevin Gary dig deep. They are the Michigan State champions in this of uh, this per, this event. They uh, they defeated uh, a Abe Smith and Jeremiah Millar in the Michigan State championship final. So it's not very often anybody but Jeremiah wins state championships here in his state. He's a very hard guy to beat, but it does happen from time to time. And uh, they've also had good success in Vegas, so they've been uh, they've been up against it before. But Jermaine and uh, Yancey are well up for the task. Two real cool customers, not afraid of anything really when it comes to that. And as you might even be able to hear from the basin, <laughs> yeah, Maine says, "Come on, yes, I need you right now. Let's go." And that's exactly. Partner, man. His partner asked for something. And he got it too with a one on the first dart, turn that to a 121. You feeling real good yeah. about that. I don't know who else Mitty is or which, which one of us sounds like it, but let's see what he does here. What's, what's the shot here? Maybe 177 to leave four? Now nah, he's going to stay on the 20 now. Whoever El Smitty is, we like the way he sounds. Yeah, El Smitty must sound good. Must sound like... He's cool with me. He seems legit. Yeah, nobody can do nothing from stopping uh, main looking at this 100. He's in good shape. Yeah, and he's hit that 100 in and out. He's got hundreds. So I, I feel like pretty good chance he takes that out. I love this close match, though. Oh my! Cavs being a little hard on himself. Yeah, couple slack rounds. He's as big as he's his own biggest crit critic, though. He always is. He go, he'll go hard on himself and then come back and shoot a twelve darter. So uh, it's not like he's just gonna fall apart and. I think he let them in. So just go away. Get to him a little bit. It is, and these guys haven't gone away. You know, with the big win in the early cricket set, he did see some early struggles from Yance. It probably felt like they were in good control of the match, and, and Maine just kept plugging. Yancey found his stride, and now they're in a position where they could go up six games to five, and they do just that. Ooh, nice. So, excellent shot from Jermaine. There's Al Smitty, the real Al Smitty. Will the real Al Smitty please hey, stand nah. up? <laughs> My guy, smooth, smooth Smitty, I see you. So Maine takes the lead. They don't get in, and now he's going to toe the line with a chance to or extend the lead potentially in this leg. Kev didn't get in. <laughs> oh my. I ain't gonna lie, it's fun having Mike Patterson in the chat tonight. <laughs> so first two don't get in, uh, Gary comes in no problem, one throw. Let's see what Yance got for these boys. I think Yance gets right in and gets busy. Yance is really turning around on his ends, hasn't he? He's been in first or second dart the last couple of games. It's made a big it's made a big difference. Kev looking to get back onto his form and picks up eighty. And with eighty two. So the rare the rare, I think this is the only time oh no, the first game Maine didn't, but he came back huge when he oh. So a slack six for uh for Maine, but that's pretty – it's been rare. We haven't seen that tonight where he's missed. But with the one-game lead and going second, worst-case scenario would be tied up after this leg. Yeah, you got the win. You went up. I mean, you're going yeah. second now. Well, and their scoring hasn't been great. Maine's right back in it. I mean, Yancey throws 100, and then Maine throws a, a throws a one, 160. I mean, nothing's even lost. 
Yancey picks up what, 96? I like it. Yeah, Holly, I agree. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of EE. E. Yeah, home. yeah, there's there could be a whole other set. There's still a... They need... Jermaine needs three more wins. Jermaine and Yancey, three more in this set. Kevin Gary, four more to... For them, so... Although I would like to assume more than half of the chat wants Yancey and Jermaine to win this just so we can see a third set. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, we, but usually most people, about 70%, they definitely want to see that third set. Even if they're rooting for their own team to win, they just still want to see the they like to see a little bit more darts. Two hour and 30 minute mark just elapsed, so appreciate yeah. you guys all still hanging out. So well over 100 viewers. We've been waiting for this day for a while. We kind of thought, like, man, we're never going to get to 100 and today. We got to 160, so thanks for all the support and the shares and the exposure. And hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying yourselves as well. Got some dart players in the building getting it in. Brent, I did I did catch, up, I did catch Kiki's uh, donation, and I got her down with uh, – where'd she go on there? 12 entries so thank your sister for that one we appreciate her i think i missed it when it went by on the screen but i did uh, i did see it as i was checking my phone yeah we definitely appreciate the, the the player stuff like i said we just put a put a big uh put a big um order in at, at uh amazon to get uh we want to get our audio booth downstairs up for player interviews before ladies night arrives we're also putting a camera down there for that booth green screen uh microphone headphones up here we're also putting uh cameras into the commentary booth so on the breaks we can bring you guys in here with us watch kind of what we're doing while we get ready for the players to get back in action scott arcos what's up brother welcome in This is the first time we see Maine the highest score on the board all day tonight. Richard, w welcome in. Thanks for the like. I feel like ton 80's coming here. Nope, a little loose with the first one. So, so I, I, I like Bullseye here. I don't know if Gary's going bull. I think he will. Bullseye's the right shot on this out. Sucks when that happens, though. 57 or 17. Johnny Brown, what's up? Thanks for the light. Let's see if I check the cash out. See if we can. Sue with the Sue coming with the big one there. What is that? Uh, 20 entries. Thank you, Sue. Oh shit. Drop the pen. It's all dark in here, too. You can't see shit. <laughs> Kev won't uh, get that done, but I'm sure Gary has a good opportunity. I want to see Man get a 180. Just to, just to razz it up there or something. Cause they, they Appreciate it. Uh, Couple of new likes in there. Dusty, Steve, Jamie, and Joe. Appreciate you guys. All right, there's Good the point. So we're all, all tied up. All square is six. Kev says, get your popcorn ready. We got the T.O. comments coming out. Paul Merrick, thanks for the like. What you got here? You got the main gonna bounce right back, right? And the last time he struggled a little bit on that double in. Yeah. I feel like first dart double twenty. Looks like he I got, I got the him. song that's on. He's yeah. about to come I got him throwing a one twenty here. One twenty eight. 
Oh, is that wrong? Is it 160? No, it's 120. Shanghai. That's exactly right here is crunch time, too. You know, 6'6, six, 0'1. Six, oh, you don't want to be going second yeah. at all. You know what I mean? Because it's really hard you're to right win. about crunch time because, I mean, once this win right here, and then you're, you're two wins away from the set. Yeah. yeah. And, and if you're Jansen and, and Jermaine, you really just you win the set, it's all square. Now you're playing one set for whatever they chose to do down there. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you're back in action. A couple mm -hmm. of the cricket. Uh, Couple of the cricket uh, prop bets come back into play. Prop bets are always good. Get to yeah. see a chance at some extra bucks being made. Nancy, appreciate you for the light. Thanks for joining in. All right, Gary, he gets in. Nothing, nothing pretty, but he's in. Also, Seraphine, Hex, and TJ. I don't know if I missed anybody else there. Daryl as well has new follower. Thanks for the follow. Hope you like what you see here. Got Walter Maxwell. A few others popping in. Trying to keep up tonight. Pretty busy with the. Uh, anytime we get uh get new players in, we tend to get a get a, get some extra viewers. Obviously, people excited to see their people come play. And I'm sure. Uh, sure, Maine's got a big following back home. Joe Miranda says, Midnight Dark Club, how do you switch to board two? I'm going to do that so you guys can take a look. Plus, you don't get to see our badass transition. That is our giveaway. I'm going to give you guys just a quick second to take a look. So the first, we're going to spin the wheel five times. The first player will get a choice of any of those packages. Second player gets a choice from what's left all the way down to the final selection gets made. And we will be giving all those things away on August 27th during the ladies' night event. And uh, we're really excited about it. We'll come back to that on the next intermission. We'll let, leave that on the screen. All right. Hopefully we got back just in time for this 180. I would have been real disappointed in myself if we missed one, which I guess we could have. But from the scoring, it doesn't. we didn't because only Maine could have had it, and he was already – he came in big, so I don't think he's 180'd. So appreciate everybody who's been playing along and, and joining in on the uh, donation game today and getting a chance to win something off those packages. And uh, like I said, we got real big plans for September as well. And uh, one of those one of those top gifts is going to actually be a theme to give with uh, that will also be an in, inter intertwined with the uh, October and November giveaways as well. So. Yeah, we yeah we we'll, we'll probably never have less than five prizes. Depends on you know what what we uh, what we do and what we feel like uh, what we feel like the players would want. And we honestly uh, we take recommendations. If there's something you guys like to see on the on the giveaway list, let us know. We're working on it. We got some four 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 O's up in the house. Four forty got to be the area code, right? Yeah. Four four O versus the three one threes. I always loved playing in Lorraine when we went out there and did all the league. They, I always felt like their area was a lot like us. Everybody out there has got, got big personalities, big attitude, big game. Like, they they take it serious, man. It's more than just darts in Lorraine, man. It's uh, I always had fun playing with them guys out there. Wayne Wright, and Brian, the, the surfer, the legend. Plays just so much darts with all them guys. Kevin. Now it's a whole new crew of people and some of the OGs still out there banging too. So I love to see it. Reminds me of home. Katie Rowe. rapping. <laughs> Katie a real one. That Joy right, Rowe. Main leaves itself the uh, first out of the match. One, two, three. Ain't the best out, but it is first look. And it will be most likely... It's probably a 20 shot. Yeah, 60, 60, 57, double eight. Stay silent. I just cringe. I don't want none of them leaving that damn double seven until I get to fix that board tomorrow. <laughs> I'm cringy every time they get low down here. Double seems to work, right? OT with the 419. 
Yeah, the double usually does work, but I just don't want something to bounce out. Then feel like got you. you know what I mean? Like, I'm just thinking ahead, probably jinxing us. All right, big shot by Gary. Leads itself up. And we're and definitely a look. Appreciating all the love from the 440 out there, guys. Y'all doing doing it big for us, and we appreciate you. A lot of 440 love. Yeah, I like it. I like it. We love to see the support. See, all, all, all four players' wives are watching. We've seen them all come across the screen here. So, I li we like to see that, too. Get the support. Nobody's in trouble for being here. Their wives are at home watching and rooting on their people. It's always good. I know uh, mine always watches when I play. Yeah, it's cool. You know, especially, like, the kids get involved. A lot of kids watch, comment, and they, they, they have fun with it. So, that's what we look for. Fun for us. We want it to be fun for everybody else too. Yeah, I think uh, darts save a lot of bars. What's up, Flannery? How we doing, baby? So Gary will not take it out. And yeah, main is not froze. So we just gotta get busy on this 74. Make it happen. Sixty, yeah, fifty-four double ten. I'm glad I didn't want him shooting at that damn double seven. <laughs> Main's a beast right now, man. He's playing good. Yep, right button. Nice. Hi, Millie. How are you? Four four zero in the house. You gotta feel like you're starting to knock on the door a little bit. I, 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 he's set. gotta feel good. I mean, he's, they they played good. They played good the whole set. They just a little wins. bit, a little bit of a slow start. Johnny, what's up? Says, let's go, Maine. Ain't definitely got a lot of love in the chat. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I knew he would. I told you he comes in. You know, he just brings game. People like to watch. When you play like that, you got the right energy and the right the right vibe with the people. It's fun to watch. It's fun to even if you don't play darts, you can you you can tell when somebody's good and they're real good at doing something. And and he he has that swag. Okay. From dart one, he's been about that business. <laughs> one two two is definitely a worrisome, <laughs> worrisome shot because you could definitely see them them six eighteens leaving you that double seven. <laughs> so Yancey in with his in with his first turn. Main didn't get in, but Gary only scored fifty two, or or is that I'm not sure if that's Kev. I think Kev started. So, a big 180 here really sets the tone to get it back to even. A slack round lets main right back in it. So, let's see what's going to happen. Gets the 140. So, it's what you're supposed to do in the, in the one hole. Keep the pressure on everyone else. Kenneth, welcome in. Thanks for the light. All right, main, get in. What a nice time. Better <laughs> you'll be right, right in good shape. Oh man. Glitch in a matrix. <laughs> All right, he's back in with 60. He's had no problem scoring at all. The only the only time he's had any slack is it, it was like twice he's missed that that first round in, but Rick Skyberry, my guy. What up? Fellow Darts for Dog champion out there. You know, I got to bring up Darts for Dogs anytime I get the chance. I know it's been seven seven long years since I won it, but it still feels good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we need us up to an out here. I, hey, yeah, um, he's there. Mike says, have you heard about the Ohio State trip champs? A rumor, but I heard it was... Jermaine, his wife Star, and some dude who takes his shirt off way too much. <laughs> That's, I do remember seeing that photo. You guys taking that down? Angelica, welcome in. Thanks for the like.
Alrighty. Thought I heard someone at the door. Kev, he did have a look at the owl, didn't take it, but no one's really knocking on the door, so he will have three more at that 105, no matter what. That's Kev shooting the 105, right? Yep. Now, I, I've started it on the bull before, on 105. I like the bull to start. Double leaves you 15 in tops. Single bull leaves you tops, tops. I don't know what he's going to do at it, but I like I like the bullseye. Mike says he's got the record for the most third, fourth place finishes in darts for dogs. It is definitely a hard one to. It's like even top three. You know, there's so many, so many teams usually, and so, so many, uh, such a long day. It's it's definitely one that a good run you you remember a long time. Have a little uh, a little chatty in there. That it's over. I don't know. He's coming. I'm always surprised how much the players read the chat while they're playing. I, that was one of the big reasons why we decided to put in an interactive booth down there for, like, breaks is because we want the play, the chatters to be able to talk directly to our players and, and, and ask questions on the breaks and stuff. We think that will be fun. So when uh, all the parts arrive and Josh works crazy hours and actually does – camera installs and security stuff on the side as well so he's he's working all the time but when he gets a little slot to get over here and get a little install rocking we'll have all that up and ready so really excited about that patterson said he wants to get in get in the booth with data and get the chat going so he uh hey man we get we, we can get your spot up here Andy Oleg checking in. What's up, my guy? So Kev uh, ties the ties it at seven seven just now. Let's see if Maine can get them this to is the a hill. Very important game right here. And uh, Maine's in, which is a good sign because uh, we know he scores. He just the last few games had trouble getting in. Just elapsed the two hour and forty five minute mark. Kev, this is a poor one, Kev. Come on. I wonder that Maine and Yancey know about the 13 inside. If I'm sure they know they watch. But if this goes 8-8, eight, eight, the final game of the set is played on the 13 inside. For everybody who's coming in and you're new here, if any set goes to the tiebreaker, it's played on the 13 inside. One That's just what game. we do in this format and of this, you know, this, uh, this event here, this type of event. So... Those games are really excited when it's double double split bowl. And we all pray for the 13 inch really. Everybody does. Play. Everybody wants to see it. And it looks like Maine's having no problem in the one hole here. It's a good 140 by Maine. I mean, Yance ain't in. Nobody's in trouble. No one did no real damage here. Looks like another record Mike Patterson might hold there. The most shots done in a weekend at Ohio State, which is no easy crown to hold. I've been to the Ohio State tournament, and there's some shots getting done. So, uh, Yance, I feel like if he just gets in right here, I mean, they're, they're in really, really good shape. Sydney says Yancey's still shooting that damn double 16. He did go double 14 a few games ago right after he said that. But then he went right back to the 16. There he is. Yancey's in. I like it. Oops. Is this a 180 coming? Sure feels like it. Come on, G. Sure feels like it. Nice one. These guys are 140 mission, though. Main's holding the line. One more triple. He's in great shape. He's got a chance to pick Day Day's pocket to end the set. Got a chance to give me for 50. I want to see it. A little slack round. Yance, Yance will stay solid. I mean, they're good. 
Huge like, first dart. Yeah, that's the way to do Huge it. Huge second dart. Give it to him, man. And I tell you, there. well, yeah, because you know you're going to be sitting on eight. So you either yeah. you you can break for free to win, or you can win the diddle and try to win the thirteen inside. But either way, you only got to win one of the next two games if you can win this leg. And he, kept so high. And I'm not going to lie, he might out. be he might be thinking about picking your pocket for fifty right here. I mean, you think one six one, it qualifies. He's, he has to look. He don't have to, but he has. Yeah. To. Oh, he ah. he would. He, yeah, I would think he would look for sure. Yeah. So 104, we've seen uh, at least two checkouts at 100 or better with with Maine. So he's definitely in a position. I would look for Kev. Kev's just gonna have to do work here to not have Gary froze. If Gary could leave himself in all. And, and if you're Kev, you're not too concerned because one thing I will say that Kev's done really well. If he does have a little bad partner set, he's got a good track record on the 13 inside. He he definitely has played some blow up games in crucial moments. Kev had some. Really nice games on that 13 yeah. inch. Yeah, the one against Chucky. Remember when really him and Chuck nice. were like averaging fucking made, old. Yeah, he made Chuck's like four or five look like not much. Yeah, Chuck was burning up the board and, and, and was like literally. I don't even know what he shot that game, but it was nasty. So what do we got here? Gary didn't set himself up very well. I mean, Maine got a chance. He's the 100 chance. 60. He got this. Uh, Go bull. Go bull here, man. All right. Still, Kev's, Kev's got to do something, or, or yeah, his partners. Yeah, yeah. Kev's, uh, Kev's got to have a 180, basically. Looks like he's got it. He does. He does. So the sixth That's 180 much. of this set. Oh my. Yancey's no worries though. Trip 20, you're already you're safe. He can't. He'd have to go out. And 142 is not no walk in the park. Is that nice. a freeze? I didn't do the early match. So one nice. seven nine. No, 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 it's not a freeze. It's still a nice shot. Sixty. Fifty-seven coming. Fifty-one. I forget. Soft tip players love double fifteen. Let's see if not. Fifty-seven's a shot. Fourteen, or triple fourteen. Twenty for thirty-four. A little unorthodox, but. Oh, now he's frozen. Yeah, it's busted. Sorry about the quick little bla break right there. We had uh, actually, day day uh, day is the wife wife pulled up. Rachel dropped off some tacos from the truck down in the neighborhood. So we about to be good on the break. Appreciate you, Rachel. Much love on that one. Boy, that was a heartbreaking game right there. Heartbreak. And, and I love that he didn't fold because of it. He comes right in with the 160. Lost the game, should have had. Cracks it 160, looking to push and get this onto the 13 inside. So who was, who was that? That was Kev, third dart in. Third dart on 32. This is a big turn for Yancey. This is a big turn for Yancey. Didn't get in, but Kev didn't get in until, you know, Kev didn't score much on his, so it's not terrible. You just got to not always be living on the wire, though, yeah. you know what I mean? Because now oh. both these guys come in 160. Well, actually, 115. It looked like it was going to be a 160. Main, Main got no worries here. He knows what he's got to do. And he's doing it. So Maine has a shot. 
he Another has a shot, shot to get me for a 50 ball and to get 250 because he takes that out it's 50 from you and it's the nine darter oh for 200 bucks my. and he knows it i made sure they all knew it they all know he can clean us up right now yeah but not if yancey freezes them no way all right it's gotta get in you can't freeze him. You can't even freeze him. You can't freeze him. 180 only puts you at 206. You can't freeze him. Man got a shot for nine. We all rooting for him here. Let's go. What you guys think he's going to hit it? Let's see what's happening. I just want him to have a shot at the double ball. I, I, I hope he uh, I hope. I didn't say it for, for the fans. It's the main event. It's the main event. I want to see it. Hey, it's a good shot still. Yeah. Good now, now where's now is where Yancey's got to he's got to get in with a triple. You need you need a double yeah. and a triple in this scoring round, especially if Kev goes large. Yeah, and these guys are scoring every dart on triples. You got to get in first before you can score. Oh, what a huge miss by Kev. Yance got Yance got to do it right now. This is easy. This is, go up at that 14, dude. Get off that double 16. You hit the 14 for a shot at. There you go. There it is. Now you don't even really got to do shit. There it is. Come on, Yance. So that's a good shot. Yeah, He's safe. 96. Safe as could Beautiful. be. I don't know what Maine's going to do for that 61. A lot of people like 45 double eight. I, I like that shot, too. All right, let's see what he does here. I feel like uh, it's gone. I think it'll be either two darts or three darts, obviously, because you can't do it in one, but... Feel like Maine is gonna push this to the 13 inch side. Get it done right now, Maine. Nasty. Hesitation. I, I I ain't surprised at all what these boys are doing, but I tell you what, <laughs> it's still impressive whether you're surprised or not. It's yeah. still impressive darts. They're throwing big shots when they need it the most. On the stream, they know we got the most viewers we ever had. You know, a lot of these new viewers in too. So I love to see people m this type of performance. Josh with the like out there, Sloan, the guy that makes all this possible with this yeah. internet access. The thing, the, light. the skills he's got, make the gives us the opportunity to stream this type of quality for y'all. Gary looking a diddle here. Let's take a closer look. Caught that bowl by me just one hole inside. Just wired it. Old Town Charleston, thanks for the light. So who's got this? We going 4-4-0? We going 3-1-3 for this? I mean, we almost have to root for the 4-4-0 so we get a third <laughs> set. But it's hard to root, root right. against the 3-1-3, boys. We're three one three in the booth, but I mean, there's something in us that wants this four four zero to pull through and get this third set rocking. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. It's all likable guys down there. All good players. Anybody can win this match. These are these are good teams that, that know what they're doing. It's kind of stuff we like to stream. Looks like four four zero. Where you at? Three one three. You guys got to get in there and support your squad. 4-4-0. Four, 4-4 four, four is blowing it I'm up. starting to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie. There's a 3-1-3. Three, three. Hey, the 4-4, four, four, they didn't only bring big game. They brought a big crew, too. They, they, roll, they roll to the party like Taylor North, baby. <laughs> they got all the fans. All right, let's get this game rocking. All right, so it's still double in, double out, split bull. And it is uh, it's definitely a hard... Uh, Hardboard to win on. Kev first right dart. In. That's crucial. Yeah, that's, uh, that's very good. Good, man. Yep. Oh, that's real good. First two players off in. Boy, I tell you what, when you're player three and four, that, that makes you a little cringy, too. When they, you know, it's a little pressure starting to build. 
He's like, shit, that's the whole set. You lose this game, you won eight games that didn't mean shit. How you know much what better I mean? does it yeah. feel to be in the booth right now? Yeah. Oh, they're not on board. Because it's like, it, it, if you lose this game here, it means you won eight oh one games that got you zero points. That's what makes this game so tough right here on the 13-inch side. It's like, man, if you lose it, you get zero for your efforts. Oh, he gets in with the double 11. It makes sense now. Dennis and Jessica, th thanks for the like. Wow, we know him for uh, that's Mr. 100. Yeah, yeah he's throwing him on this side too. Mr. 100. I told you, I, I, I've been looking on, forward Gary. to uh, I've been right looking, now, I've Gary. Been looking forward to get Maine here and, and Yancey as well, just just to get, bring uh, bring some new faces in, bring some big flavor to the stream, and and uh, watch how this game gets done. Lots of ways to play this game. Is that Gary still not in? Gary's not in still, but man, you you're never you're not out of it on board. Yeah. You know, getting out is a little difficult. So it is, but you definitely want to stay, you know, stay positive no matter how much you're behind. Crucial shot here for me. If he can find a 140 in this spot, he takes full control of this. He's still in great shape. They're tied, but I, I felt like a 140 there would would really definitely solidify them as the favorite come on Gary uh, Clark Maine's Maine's getting hype he's hyping up uh Yance for sure he wants to smoke that's twice I've been called El Smitty out there or was it you that said yeah. it? Oh, it was you, so the day day must be us, Ooh, Smitty. Ooh, good 95 by Yance. I feel like that was solid. That's funny, too, because I seen they said he, his family's got 37 people in the hood. I was thinking, <laughs> you got big-ass family in the hood, too. <laughs> but I wasn't sure they was talking about me or you. <laughs> Let's go. Kev, uh, Kev with a solid round right there. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's, yeah, very good shot, Kev. It's hard to not expect a hundred piece from Maine right here. I mean, you almost want to say with Gary not in yet, Yance and Maine stay solid. They sh you know, Yance, Yance made a favorite in this leg. They're, they're, still they're, right we, now? If he scores a hundred right here, I think they're still a favorite because then you got Yance. He could get a hundred. It depends. Gary could get in and go huge, but if Gary only gets in with a thirty-two or a fifty-two. And, and Maine picks up 100 or 140 here, they can really start to put the cr clamps down on that freeze. Yeah, that's what I was definitely what I was thinking. And he gets the 100. Especially when you start getting two people working against one, you know. Yeah, and, and that's basically that what's going to happen. I mean, Gary's not likely to continue to miss that double, uh -huh. but there's a lot of pressure on in, in this. When he gets in, I expect a good score. Yeah, he'll score when he gets in for sure. Now the oh, with a 50 piece. Now all the pressure has changed, and now it's on Yancey a little bit. Yep. You really need a score of 95 or better here if you're going to go 19s. If you're going to go 20s, you want to get that 100 mark. He's going to get it. It looks like. There it is, and and to quote it, it. To, to quote his partner, we could hear it up here. It said, uh, "Pick it up when you need to," and that was uh, well put. In other words, clutch. Math is being thrown around down there. I think Maine was getting at the fact that he wanted was going to go bull if he hit 80 with his first two and he was going to try to score the 105 or the 130. And I agree with that. From that score, it would have been a good play. See, this is scary for them. You don't want to see Gary start crawling back in. Yancey's still in great shape, but. 
Come on, Gary. Put up a ton. Ooh, 140. Big time. That's huge, man. This is a this I is mean, a battle. That's what I mean by you know, once he gets Everyone's in, playing good. He's Everyone's rocking real close. Yancey going to just go off that momentum from the big ton last yeah. round and see if he can do it again. It looks he like he's going to get that triple. Yeah. He'll take 60 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll up, take 60 you know, there. Yeah. Still up 60 from, from. Kev also in a spot where 105 might not be a bad score. If he has a single here, you might see him go bullseye in the third. No, he switches to the 19. Scores wow. a 136. One Excellent three, shot. Six and clutch. That's, that's clutch. Now you have to freeze. Now you have that's to. Clutch. Yeah. Now with that two one seven one, four yeah. maybe yeah he needs it that's gonna hurt I'm trying to freeze there that's it's not gonna happen most likely Mike Wilson says big one forty we got a game now we sure do if Gary if Gary has a lackluster here Yancey can bust him but if not Kev's gonna get a shot at that sixty nine what do you score there fifty five. So he likes to go with the bull for 25 point darts. That's really not a horrible strategy. Trip, trip would be not enough to freeze. Come on, Yance. Okay, Yancey, he's on and out. So if Kev hits the first dart, trip 19, he'll have two darts at the double six for the match. 14 to leave tops. Oh, oh he catches the 11, so now. Just set it up, Kev, don't be mad. Set it up. Hopefully you get a look at it. Can, Yan can, you, Yance, you get him, really can Yance get himself a dart at this double 16? Or, I mean, can Maine get a start at the double 16? Oh, I thought he was going to. He needs a 60. Mm. So, 92. And so, what? They're 250 to 204. So, he's, Yancey's going to have to outscore Gary by 47 to freeze. So 98 will freeze. So 98 points. Five mark on a 20 is the freeze. Trip, trip. It's got to be trip, trip, or Kev's got three free darts to beat you. Wow, he just missed it. 168 to 153. Ooh. Kev. Silences the critics there with a big shot. What a what a finish. First start in, first start out. And uh what on that on that small side, that's tough. That was a good performance by everyone. I don't know if they're gonna stick around, play some darts. We got up to the one sixty mark on viewers. But that is that two the difference. Kev getting in on that first dart getting and getting out, out on the a first dart. So we're gonna we're gonna mute the mics for a second. I'm gonna click it over so you guys can take a look at what's on the give. Come upstairs, talk to us. We're gonna go smash some tacos from the taco truck. We will be live for a few minutes. I'll find out when they come up if they're doing any more. But appreciate everyone. It's been huge today. All the viewers, all the donations. Just you guys are rocking it. So appreciate you, 440. Thanks for joining in and, and being a part of the party. You guys were great in the chat. It was a lot of friendly, good competitive stuff. So we love it. And uh I'm gonna stay live till I find out exactly what they're doing. If they're playing more, we'll bring it back to you. Okay. Stay tuned. You don't want to. You don't want to hear us eating these tacos in the booth. I promise that. So we're gonna mute that, and uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. It actually sounds like they're going to keep going, so I'm going to leave them on instead of you guys just staring at the giveaway screen. I will go back to that so you can see it more. New follower. Thanks, Ian. Um, so go ahead and watch what they're doing here. It sounds like they're just playing a couple extra sets and stuff like that, but uh, here we go. Watch a little bit more darts.
Okay, if anybody out there knows what the scoreboard is like right now, while we take an update and I'll get us all caught up here, it looks like they decided to do a little more. I don't like to go downstairs while they're playing. I don't want to bother the the energy down there. It's their uh, their house today. We just killing it. Good looking out, Rachel. I'm dropping off them fire ass street tacos. Me and Day Day just put in some work. I don't know if I, uh, what I missed. Running it back, Kev says, says three old good guys, but I don't know if that means. It, it, can somebody confirm out there? We got a viewer out there that confirm. Is that the scoreboard where Kev says 3-0? Since the 0-1, is, uh, is this the fourth game of cricket? Brent says, so yeah, Brent does verify that he believes it's 3-0, so we'll get that up to speed. So more darts. We are all the way good with that. We like darts around here. Got shit to do tomorrow. Still here, guys. I'm just catching up uh, some text and stuff I had to send back. So, catching everybody up real quick. Steve says they they just did oh, so must be racing to three. Oh yeah, they must have. So that oh, so this must be a new set they did it again. As I'm sitting here trying to catch up all my text messages. Race to three once. They're doing race to three again. This must be game one. All right, trying to trying to get caught up here. Mike says I didn't get no text. Yeah, I was just uh, I was I was catching up. We usually get a lot of a lot of requests for matches during this kind of stuff. We get quite a few. Usually, I think people get gassed up. Yeah, once you start watching darts like this, you will play for sure. <laughs> you want all the smoke.
So it looks like they're just racing the C3 here. And uh, I'm uh, slipping a little bit on the scoreboard, but I appreciate y'all still hanging out. Still 50 viewers. We peaked today, almost getting to the 170 mark, which is absolutely huge for us. So I guess that's what happens when you get rock stars like this in the basement. Putting on a good match, too. Comes all the way down to the to the 13 inch side in the in the double in double out 01 and made for a very exciting match. Mike Patterson, it's been grand brother. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. I had a good time with you in the chat today, brother. And uh look forward to letting us know, man. Maybe maybe you and uh maybe get on down here one of these times, man. We'd like to have you. So have a good night and appreciate the love on the donation, brother. Enjoyed having you. I, I think this is still game one, guys. I've been slipping, trying to keep keep everything up. Look at that. New follower, Nancy, welcome in. I hope you like what you see. Game two. And uh, so if it's game two, then that means Gary and Kevin must have won the first one. If they're going sef second, thank you for that update, Dustin. <coughs> I got so uh, indulged in the uh, street tacos out there that, that Data's uh, girl brought us that uh been a little discombobulated since. But that green sauce just hits different when it's from the hood. Oh, that registered a double. It's only a single. So Gary's going to fix that up. It's not much going to matter. This game's over, uh, pretty much. I hate when my boards mess up. Steve, appreciate you. Says great stream tonight, and uh, and we'll see you soon. We look forward to it. We have, uh, we have a good match coming on Thursday. Two doubles partners going toe-to-toe -to -toe in, a, in a, their first appearance in the Grudge Series, and that's uh, Brian Gannon and Jerry Frazier, two of our – regulars around here that play a lot of darts here and they play a lot of dar darts together so should make for an interesting match playing playing against one another to move into the one and old bracket in the uh grudge series singles pool no we were uh, brent says he hopes it was the the southfield road taco truck no uh rachel uh, i think she went would she go uh central michigan down there basically uh, or is it uh, or Clayton and Central, yeah, it's right, right. It's kind of over by the the Freer. So that's right. Everything's up to date. I think. Uh, oh shit! I put yeah, I put it on Yancey's side. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So this is the fourth set they've played. We took down the ton eighty counter, but I think they ended with seven. Yeah, you'll have to check that one out, Brent. It's a it's a good one. They uh they do the the churros and everything there too. They got inside seating, or you can go outside just get the truck. It's definitely in my top three in the rotation. I'm not sure if they serve meatballs yet though. <laughs> he says, I knew I knew it was coming. So somehow they're kind of creep back in this leg. I, it's, it should be over when Jermaine gets to the board, but a five ball here could shake it up a bit. And he might just get it. So Jermaine picks that one up to even this set at one game apiece. I like that they're playing all cricket as much as I like to watch 0-1, but I feel like the games after when you just want to gamble a little bit, cricket's a little more exciting. It's, you just don't want to see your partner not getting in, like, you know, or, or yeah. you know, it's like the the double make or break so much in this this type of uh, this type of setup. But these guys are just they're good enough players. It really shouldn't matter if they got a double in or not. They are. Uh, they're all very good dart players, and they have no problem hitting a double on their first and last dart to start and finish a game, that's for sure. Wow. 
one up. Might be one of the fellas. It's got to be Clark, right? No, Clark's down there. Maybe they had something in the fridge upstairs. Sounded like someone was up there, right? I didn't see the Argo go off. I don't think nobody's here. No, it was Clark. Yeah, it was, uh... Really fun chat tonight, man. Appreciate all you guys who are still out there with the 440, man. You guys really lit the chat up. It was really fun having you guys in. I'm glad to have uh, not only some of you players here, but uh, but all the people in watching. And it made it real exciting today and uh, really fun in the chat. I love seeing the local support for, for the teams that come in and basically just make us realize that we need to do more of this. We need more feature teams coming in from other yeah. towns to just come in and play and, and just have a good time, you know. So we're definitely going to put a little bit of focus on that when, when it is doubles matches. We're, we're going to try to look to, rather than just put four guys from the club that you see all the time, we like to, you know, just mix it up with the, the team we throw out and then the guys that come in. And, and hopefully we'll get these guys back really soon as well because uh, obviously they were, they were huge for the stream. I think you can hear it, right? Yeah. yeah. So these are for, yeah. for us to be wearing them. If we want to listen to ourselves talk. It. Yo. All right, we uh trying to do a broadcast with headphones on. See how that sounds. It's not terrible. No, it's not bad. I don't want to wear them though. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice though for uh Livia said, so excited for the twenty seventh. Yeah, and it's definitely gonna be a good time. We're looking forward to featuring you ladies. I think uh I think if we can hit 160 with the fellas tonight, the ladies might push us to our first ever hit the 200 viewer mark. We're gonna get greedy at the end of the month. We're we're gonna hope to get a uh, hope to get it up there. And I know that all oh, these girls have a ton of followers that like to watch them play and stuff. So I think it's gonna be really exciting. Um, the club's been raising some money. We're gonna that's gonna be a thousand dollars in the payout that that day for the girls. It's gonna be a hundred each for the eight ladies, and the club's gonna add two hundred dollars to that. And round it to a nice even $1,000 payout. Plus, the ladies' champion will get their entry fee paid and receive a spot in our club championship, which will take place in late September or October. That's also a $1,000 first place prize. Well, $1,000 just refers the ladies to $1,000 the whole pay, $1,000 plus the $100 entry. So, technically, the ladies' event is an $1,100 payout. The club championship's going to be. At least eighteen hundred. We trying to get it all the way up to two grand. When we go through some numbers and make sure with everything's right with all the donations, I don't think we'll have a problem doing that with weeks to go. So it's been really nice to have all the help from everyone. And and to be honest, when you put money into the payouts, it it brings in the better players, which makes the stream more watchable. And uh, honestly, it's uh, it's good for everything. It's good for the stream. It's good for the players. It's it's fun for us. Go ahead and take that 180 box off. Looks like Kevin Gary, game two. I mean, uh, two wins first. We'll take a look. Speaking of the ladies' night, we're going to be doing uh, the giveaway. So you guys, if you just got in here, some of the things you can win. This month's this month's five gifts are all listed right there on the screen. First winner gets choice. Then at the next spin, they get choice all the way to all five prizes are gone. So you can win a, your very own session here. Uh, you can, we got the dark case. We got the lamp for a little piece of our merch, the Jersey that we absolutely love or what we kind of deem is our, uh, our top prize as uh, you get to work one-on-one -on -one with Josh and design your very own custom Jersey. And, um, 
Yeah, I think uh, either way, that's going to be a lot of fun. So we're really uh, looking forward to see who wins the prizes this month. Uh, last month, our winner was Stephanie, and she I think she went with the desk lamp because they are last month we only had a jersey or a desk lamp, and uh, she uh, they already all had the jerseys. So put a little swag in their dart room. I think these boys are uh, a little wore out down there. Yeah, they get a little tired. They just times. wasn't ready to quit, but they're definitely a little wore out. And it usually happens, and then that second win kicks in, and they start throwing six fives again. So you can see the ladies. Most of the ladies in here still watching tonight. That's another reason we wanted to throw an event for them because, man, they're the biggest supporters here, aren't they? Yep. But, but well, before we had the 440 crew, I think 440 <laughs> is our new biggest crew because they came deep tonight, and and I love that. It just tells you that, that darts in their town means as much as it does here in our town. You know, people are – they take it serious out there, and, and their players, their good players are, are true good players, and, and that, that's, uh, that's what we love to watch. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby, buddy. It's a little seven-piece to start. Gary, who loves the 19. He always, he's the one where they're all talking. Like, Gary's been so quiet tonight, hasn't he? Like, he does. You can hear him say, nice shot, and talk to a few people. But for the most part, like, Yancey's been a little vocal. And then he, Maine's always vocal. Kev's always vocal. So, you know, it, it's a really fun environment down there tonight. Good call. It's two games to one. Yeah. And it is Kevin Gary. Kevin Gary. Kevin Gary. What happened? Oh, he thought it didn't click over something. Thanks for that score update, Cat. I've definitely been slipping a little bit. I'm in the post taco mode. <laughs> I'm wondering which one of these guys is gonna slide upstairs first and see that there's like four left. There's really, <laughs> I know they're not gonna split them one each. Some of these could come up here. <laughs> Be like, like bro, there was one taco left. <laughs> they smashed three. <laughs> you never know. More. Usually the players don't eat. We we do big cooks at the luck of the draws and the real big events. But in these doubles events, these guys come in. Yeah. There are the tanks are already primed. Half these guys have already been drinking before they got here. You know. These guys are too jacked up. To yeah. Them. We open the doors early for the players if they want it. But to be honest, anymore, most guys throw in about 45 minutes before go time. Yance looks like he's uh he's out of steam. Out of birds. I'm glad to see the ladies hyped up, getting ready as it's so close. We got the men's final qualifier in just a couple days. And then we close out the whole club championship. The field will be closed once we have a ladies champion. Looks like uh, Gary's going to try to put a stamp on this. Only racing a three, so. Yeah. This is the last one, too. They already did it once. So they're just going to. You sure? This out. Yeah. That's what they said. So what's the play here? Trip 16 first dart for a one point lead. Play is hit triples for sure. <laughs> oh, does he close? Oh, and he missed it. Yeah, he, you have to. I, I feel it's the right shot. Lead. It's the right shot. A one point lead with the single. I mean, it, he could have took the one point lead. It's risky because this is for to stay alive in the set. Kev doesn't even. Kev elects to take a risky shot. Kev, uh, Pretty much like, show me what you're gonna do, man. You know, gonna be here. Here's a good chance to win you a trip for five dollars. <laughs> Pull up at the MDC, you win any of these prizes. Every five dollars you donate tonight is actually two entries because it's double entry night, but uh, you get two entries for every five dollars. So, twenty dollar, twenty dollar donation will get you eight chances at these gifts. And, uh, all the donations here either go back to the players or into streaming equipment. Everything here is, is designed to help 
players, you know, win some money, get some stuff to travel, and uh, we just try to try to keep guys. One more set per Yant. So I think they're going to do it one more. Let's get back for that. One more set, race to three. Yeah, so anyways, we, we definitely appreciate it. We're going to have a uh, stay tuned to, or not not necessarily today, but within the next uh, couple of days, we're going to put a, we want to, we want to, we're having a hard time coming up with a name for the player booth. So we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have a contest. And uh, the, the if, we, if we use your choice, we're going to give you, uh, we're going to give you some free entries in the end of the month draw. I don't know if we'll, if we'll do the contest before this month's draw, I believe we will. So there's still a chance for to actually get in and then get a couple of entries just for uh, just for being the creative one out of the group. So I feel like the internet always wins when you do stuff like that. You put a name out, they'll come up with something. Normally we we do all that, but we're just drawing a blank. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a good good name going. <laughs> I know that pisses them off. It says Miss on that seven. Oh my. Well, you can't let that bother you. It wasn't going to count for nothing anyways. The seven, it is frustrating, though, being right next to that motherfucker. These guys do not want to stop playing, dude. <laughs> how could you? I mean, you know what it's like down there when you're in a club. I mean, that's why that's how this thing started. Got his name Midnight Dark Club because a lot of times we would come back after the luck of the draw and we'd have three or four guys going right to work from an all-night session at the club. Or coming in right after work is really how we got the the midnight was ch when Chucky used to work till he'd get out of work at 11:30 and he'd be here by midnight to hit the practice board. Oh, nice white horse by Kev. And uh, so we just one day I think I texted it to him. I'm like, man, we doing midnight dark club tonight, and from there it just stuck. And that was probably six or seven years ago. Been through some ups and downs and trying to figure it out. Live streaming on the cell phones and free or bar. If you heard the song, you know the story. Thanks to Kingy Flay on that one. Drop that fire for us. I feel like the song was a... It is zero, zero, one. Yeah, this is game one set. It's actually set number five, I believe. It's the third set of the short sets, and they played two long sets. So. These boys do not want to stop. Probably a little fatigued though by now. They oh, played a lot of games. Sure. They got to be fatigued. You know how we. You most people are done. They don't want to throw another dart after the two, three sets. And these guys are. This is their third set since the match ended. So Kevin Gary going to take a lead in this set, one to nothing. Where'd you click that at? How'd you, how'd you do that? You clicked it up to one nothing. I didn't see you hit it. Oh, I didn't see it's on the other side of the screen. That's why I didn't see it. It's on your side. I think that's going to be our next expansion is we're going to do a double screens. We're going to put one here, move this one over, do double screens in the lab, and then we're going to go up the stream deck too. So we could do more sound. Like I want to use movie clips and stuff like names for like missed shots, hit shots. Like I got some good ideas. I know Josh will be real excited to hear him. Yeah. <laughs> Put him to work, coach. Bogey appreciates you. He says, great job as always. So, Day Day here kicking it, sidekick, uh, doing a good job. So, it's nice to have a little help in here. I blab a lot, you know, but uh, it's hard to cover the whole thing. I, a lot of times I can't I can't keep up with the comments as good and the score, score checks and all that when I'm by myself. So, <laughs> oh, man. I got a text. No, I'll just text it to Kev. Because it's my social number. Oh, my. I'm kidding, dude. I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he sees it. And as Kev always says to me, who the fuck has a password on their Xbox? A guy with three teenagers. That's who these motherfuckers are. <laughs> <laughs> they will come over and download some shit on my ass. 
I'll be like, how did you spend eighty three dollars <laughs> playing Minecraft? <laughs> that's funny. So that's that's where that came from. They probably rocking the Spotify today. I know Kev's got his Kev's got his Spotify account on the Xbox. Oh, does he? Mm. Well, just because when we're playing, like when we had the double event, we had to have Spotify in the basement. Pandora is so cheap, you could pay 15 bucks, and then they still only let you listen on one device. I, I want to see a tiebreaker in this. If this is going to truly be their last set, I hope this gets to 2-2. Two -two. I I, we, we got to see a 13-inch side 0-1 battle. I'd like to see a cricket one as well. Because there's no freeze in cricket. You can't just lock your partner out. Yeah, you know, yeah. even just to stop top the night off on the 13 inch would be nice. All right, he's got his music back. And it looks like it's working for him. Yeah. I, he's not wrong. Though. No music sucks. Oh, Shitty man. way to play dart, especially in the club. It's already kind of pressured. You're only down there with your opponent. I just can't can't think enough to the viewers today, man. That four four O crew came in deep. Deep, deep, deep. I'm I'm saying they had seventy people in there today, easily, easily seventy people from the four four O. That's the kind of love and support dart communities need. Your boy's going down to play. He's going to be on the live stream. He's excited about it. Get in there and support him. And they did that to the fullest today, man. So much love to everybody out there who was supporting the 440 today. These guys uh, made a long drive, came down, played some good darts, and really put on a good show tonight. And uh, I honestly can't wait. Can't wait to schedule them to get him back, to be honest. Yeah. Definitely like to get them back in here. <laughs> I don't even know what they're arguing about. <laughs> they're not even arguing. They're just, I, th I think Jansen, Jansen, <laughs> Maine are chirping at each other about something. Maybe a shot selection. I, I can't listen. tell, but I, I couldn't really hear. But Jansen, going off Yancey's laugh, Yane was, Yane, Maine was giving them the business. Brandon Q in the house, man. What's happening? One of the originals from the uh, the MDC shootout days back when we were streaming on the, the eight-man singles league on the cell phones. Cuban got some time in on these boards down here. Play some real good matches Double with ball. Brandon. Oh. I mean, don't don't get too cute with this. You got to go ahead and close this down now, right? Yes. Yeah, get it over with. Single, two, single. Yeah, single. Two single, singles. Single, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the moments. A little bit loose. His dart looked like it floated a little more than it has in the last little yeah, bit. It had a little, uh, a little off to it, right? Yeah, hanged up there a little bit. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? That's how it's about to go down. That's just Definitely nasty. How it's about to go down. I don't know how they stole that game. Q says, always a great time at the MDC. Absolutely, brother. It was always a lot of good times here. That was a, that was a real fun summer for us that year, man. We had all the right people playing, and it was just a really, really good, exciting summer. Greg Fontaine won that series, my MDC shootout. He won the final event there. That was a really fun day. Looking forward to getting back down real soon. You have to keep us posted with that because we'd love to get you back on the back in the action. We literally all live with real live cameras and not just the cell phones anymore. And we gotta get 
get away. We can listen to mu- music and not get flagged. It's, it's much, much easier, a little bit more professional these days. Definitely. Dario, what's up, man? Thanks for the like out there, brother. These boys are down there just uh, slinging them a little wild now. Yeah, maybe a little fatigue, man. I mean, I, what was it, 9-3 or 9-4, so that's 13 games. And then it was 9-8, so that's 30 games. And then it was 3-0, 33, 3-1, 37. So yeah, this, is ga- 40, yeah. this is game 40. This is game yeah. 40. And if you ain't a dart player, 40 games of darts is a long time, man. You know what I mean? Most people don't play 40 games in two weeks. These guys have done it in three and a half hours. And not even just 40, but 40 meaningful games. Four money with jackpots, shit on the line. We, you got main went, what, front six or seven on the nine. You know what I mean? Like, this is high intensity. Every every dart is can make or break. Like, look at that last game. Uh, a couple slack darts at the end of a leg. And, and I mean, this should definitely be 1-1. Yeah. Main and Yancey burned it up last game. They just didn't close out that bull. Gary got one shot at a double, triple, triple, and he nailed it. Definitely should have been in that third set. What was high out tonight? 121? Is that the highest we've seen? 121. I I, I think Main had a 121 because I remember saying he was uh, was qualified. Yeah, he did have a 121. But was it the highest out? I feel like it was. Yeah. Cat points out that the tequila is kicking in. She loves her some Yance. Yance really is a great guy. I've I've, I've known Yance. He said, like I said earlier in the stream, I, I don't even remember where we met or how we met. Just it's been so long. We've been. He's just a good friend to a lot of people, not just me, to everybody. I, I'm sure a lot of people sign off on that. Yancey and his wife Teresa, are both amazing people. Actually, you can say that really about all four down there. You know, all, all, all four of the players, uh, all four of the players, their wives play, and, and they're competitive, and involved in the game, and game very time. supportive. So, all the ladies definitely show show the most love. Yeah, yeah. Well, like Jermaine's wife plays stars, good player. Gary's wife, is, you know, obviously Paula. And, Holly doesn't doesn't play. I, I don't know if she plays league or not. I think maybe she has at one point with with Cab. But I mean, they got a got a G three fire in your living room. I'm sure you throw once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then Yancey and Teresa, they've been they've been playing leagues in the Toledo and Lorraine area, wherever they've been for for years and years. They even even up here in Michigan, they used to play the Rabbit League years ago. So so all four guys can relate to. The ladies playing along, which we highly support and encourage. That was soft. <laughs> that was soft, Yance. You can't do that. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Oh, my. That's the key to sunrise right there. The boogeyman checking in. What's going on? Oh my. So with the with the way this went, the exposure we had today, we're gonna say we we, we really like to hear some teams from out of town from a little bit of a drive that, that are interested in coming down to play some singles or doubles and and, and build the exposure of Dark Club in, in your town and, and come get the experience yourself and and I think we need more of this. This is just a great, yeah, great good stream today. Yeah different crowd of, of people the energy the the chat just everything about it brian bowling might be a little weight on that for you bub I, we know we've had some attendance problems and stuff but i got you on the list but we had uh you know I, you know we talked about that match he was supposed to try to get set up i think that one has slipped by so had to kind of move back down in the rotation we'll get you in there like we always do legend around here with the city wars team but we still take attendance very seriously you know how shoddy be 
I think them boys are wrapping it up down there. Yeah, they are. They are. We're going to go out and talk to them, I think. Let me see. Are they putting darts in a case? Yeah, they're wrapping it. They... Yeah, we're going to go talk to them, tell them what a great job they did. But let's, uh, yeah, keep that in mind, man. We're looking for some people from out of town trying to come in, pull up, and do some work, and just come have a good time. This is a great stream. So much love to you guys out there in the 440 for all the support. We appreciate Yancey and and Maine making a trip and, and putting on a good show and, and, and good job by Kevin, Gary, and, and holding down the fort and, and playing good here at the club. And uh, we just uh, we really appreciate it. It was an excellent stream tonight, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. So we'll, uh, we'll be logging off here soon. We're going to go out and talk to the fellas and uh, get these guys logged off, and we'll be right out. What up, brother? And uh, for anybody that wants to stick around, I guess these boys are going to play another set, play something. So if y'all just want to keep viewing, watch these boys grind a couple more. I don't know if they're doing singles, doubles, keep rolling or one. But we just heard they, they still want to play.
What is up? Just got word that there will be another set played here. The encore match. So we'll see what's going on. Seen a couple of the guys were up here smashing some tacos. I don't know uh, where Maine's at. He's around here somewhere. I didn't see him, but I'm sure uh, sure he's ready to keep bringing that smoke. So I think we'll see one more race to three. I feel like it might be uh, I feel like it might be uh, all cricket again, but I didn't get confirmation on that. Steve, yeah, they're gonna play one more set. It sounds like best of three here, and. Uh, I expect uh, I expect this to be all cricket, but they didn't tell me for sure. But uh, I think it's all cricket. Race to three. Uh, one last one last little set here. Caleb makes a good point. Apparently, forty games wasn't enough for these guys. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun playing with the uh, playing with the long format. You know, you get to see a lot of darts, and uh, of course, you get to see a few bad games uh, when they play that many. But we see so many good games and so many great shots, and uh, it's really a lot of fun. Peak their viewers tonight. Uh, Steve said uh, Venmo. We we don't have a direct uh, Venmo. I think you can use Venmo through the the link at the top there, and it just goes to our PayPal literally. But um, we just have the Cash App and the uh, the only Venmo we had was from the old Raz to Riches, and we hadn't used it in so long. We didn't want to reactivate it. So uh, right now we got the Cash App that's tag down there or the link above the stream that goes it goes through paypal and they take their little service charges but they really don't charge that much so uh that kind of works out it's open for the club that's me and kev okay i'll put you guys in on the double entry night too appreciate you nice little uh donation from the ndc team down there so that'll go nice we'll put them down kev we'll put uh Kev and Gary, both with what? That'd be 10, 20, so 60 apiece, 60 would normally be 12. I think it's 24, 24 entries apiece for those guys. So that's huge. We love cash donations. They're the easiest to manage. Excited to report too that all the guys are having a lot of fun with each other too. They're uh, although pre going pretty hard at each other on the boards uh, between matches and up here. They're just having a good time and talking darts and excited and uh, they're really enjoying uh, really enjoying their evening here, which is exactly what I would hope would happen. Uh, still very excited. To, I mean, we've been tippy toeing around with seventy viewers and eighty viewers here and there, and just. Feeling like, man, are we ever going to break that 100? And then today we broke 150 and almost got it to 170. So I'm really proud of that. That's a lot of hard work by the whole staff here and everything that goes in from Ricky and Josh and Katie and Britt and Chris Norquist, myself, Day Day. I mean, just everybody works so much around here and, and does a lot to make this all possible. So much love to all them out there put in the work and help us out and let these guys get down and just do what they're good at throwing triples and taking big outs and playing darts for a couple bucks Little lean into that one there from Kev. I don't even think he I don't think he's drinking no beer down there. Maybe he is. Kev's usually usually doesn't drink too much when he comes and plays. Might have a beer too, but usually never leaning into into his dart too much. That was more of my play. <laughs> I'm notorious for that one.
So we've seen uh, some late night action as we, uh, I don't even know how long the stream been going, about four and a half hours, I guess. We did have, uh, did hiccup for a minute. So my, my count only shows 37 minutes because we lost the connection for a minute there. I think that was on Facebook side because all our phones and everything were working, but. And I just read a confirmation from Katie that said her phone, it, it never dumped the stream. It just kind of buffered for a minute. So it just puts you in panic mode when you're in here in the booth and, and the, the OG of the IT team is, is not on deck. You know, when we, it's the scariest thing to think we have a problem midstream. They haven't started yet. Click your uh, on switch on top of your mic there. Day Day back in the booth action now. He's warming up after 55 games. Day Day, a.k.a. L. Smitty tonight. We had three L. people. Smitty. Three people <laughs> say he sounds like L. Smitty. We don't know L. Smitty, but we assume we, assume we like him. Seemed to... He was in the chat with us earlier. I don't know if he's still here. He was definitely uh, definitely one of the 440 crew. And it was funny because I think the two people that commented never even saw that the other person said the same thing. All right, here we go. Game one, set number. I don't know. <laughs> Seventy. Set number we don't know. These are the kind of players we like to have around here. We do all-nighters. Here comes trip 20. A rare three mark start from Maine. He's been five or plus pretty much every game on that, on that starting round. Day Day, you were away from the action, but Kevin, uh, Kevin Gary just rolled up and dropped a $60 a piece tip to the club. So much love to them guys and a uh, smart night to do it on double entry night. We picked some nice. 24 entries a piece for them in the, the drawing. Which I'm sure that what a generous donation. Yeah, yeah, definitely huge. Yancey Maine said they got a little something too. They said they were gonna gonna come take care of us before they leave. So they they also had uh, came in being generous. We appreciate that, and it, it it pays forward to the next matches and and making the rest of the streams better. So <clears throat> we truly appreciate it, especially when it's from the <clears throat> the players because they're here. They already took a. Uh, time away from their families or their work or whatever it took for them to get here and uh, come put on a show for all of us. So, I'll have a big list tomorrow for uh, you guys that want to uh, just want everybody to look over and make sure all your double entries are in. We'll have an event Thursday and Saturday as well. This week, we've got Jerry Fraser taking on Brian Gannon on Thursday night in the Grudge Series format. And then on Saturday, we have our final qualifying tournament for the Premier Singles event that we plan to run in late September, early October with the uh, five qualifier champions, the winner of the Tank Memorial Classic, which was Dan Burke, the winner of the ladies event, and the highest player in points, which all a point was, was any win during the series. So if you lost a set six to five, you got five points. But all the events are single elimination, so you were done for the evening, but you did pick up five points. And Kevin has already clinched the point spot, so he will be representing the, the highest player in points. And we'll have a 10-man field that will play where the champion will be the final entry in that event. <clears throat> We got some good names on that list. We got Chris Swanson coming in uh, after he, he played uh, played with us with the uh, the first uh, four man event where we played with the Ohio the Young Guns event. That was a lot of fun, and Chris was a uh, big reason why the MDC was able to win that night. Chris says four and zero in his matches and uh, played very well in his doubles and his singles. He played a a cricket singles against Alec Lieber that was probably the match of the day. I felt like they both kind of lit it up. Dady was down there. He was actually the the coach for Team Team MDC that night. Him and Kev did the work the sidelines and yeah, the boys held it down for us. Did Olivia sure. have a helper? Was she by herself? Was it just um, Olivia? 
I feel like someone was here, but it was just her. Olivia, Olivia was the uh, yeah. coach for the Ohio boys, and uh, you know all they really did was just pick lineups and matchups and keep score. It wasn't really a whole lot of coaching, but it was just good to have somebody down there to support you. And we were just kind of trying something new. We like to mix up the events here, so you're not watching the same thing every single time. We like to do different events, play different games, get different players on the stream, get different people in the commentary. Just keep it fresh, crispy, if you will. Can't believe these people still want to play darts, huh? I know. They got to be tired. Brent, someone who can recognize players who keep going, because there's a guy who, who's, he's not going, he might go straight to work. If Brent's here playing darts, there's a chance he could go straight to work from the dart boards. Brent's one of our late night grinders for sure. Hopefully you guys got to catch his match last week. He played uh, last Thursday night, was it? No, Saturday. Brent was Brent's match was on Saturday. Yep, he got busy with. Uh, won a good set after he he, he lost the opening set against Jason Topsky, oh, yeah, who's yeah, one yeah. of our qualified players for the Premier Singles. Brent Held still, down. yeah, Brent still has a chance to get in, but he's got to get through a very tough ten man field to get in that Player Championship. You got Ron Otto in there, Timmy Sheehan, Troy, Day Day, Josh, Tom Keller, Gannon, Jerry. I don't got the list in front of me, so I could be skipping someone, but it's uh, Tim Sheehan. I think these boys are in autopilot. They must be. Steve says Yancey's probably not going to quit till he's even. <laughs> Yancey was definitely the one that encouraged this set. I'm not going to lie. I felt like the rest of them was the kind they of like. They were about to walk yeah, out. Yeah, it was Kevin Gary was already up here tipped out and everybody. Swanson, yep, Swanson on that list. I, I, I didn't know if I said him or not. Um, he uh, was having a little trouble with his work schedule, but he was like, hey, if I have to take a personal day, I, I, I told them about this day a month ago. I, I told Chris he had a spot. And uh, I really want Chris to play that spot. He's an excellent player. I've always liked his game. I love the way he plays singles, and I think he's uh, he's going to be a he's going to be a tough force that day. It's going to be hard to knock out of that event. And we got OGs like Troy in there, who, who a lot of players on here may not know, but Troy is uh, Troy's Pretty, a monster. Uh, unpredictable event. Yeah, I would say it's wide open. Yeah. It's as wide open as it's been. You know, because you got pre-qualified players that pre-qualified players that they can't play. You know, so if you're already in the the tournament champions, you can't play again until the tournament of champions. So a lot of these players have competed and got to that third and second place mark, but they haven't got over the hump yet. And um, so it, it'll be a, it'll be a, interesting to see how that plays out that day. Who's able to to break the mold and, and get to the get into the winner's circle. Gary just good white horse to start after losing the first game. Let me check that out for you, that Steve. Nice. I think uh Steve said I do got a PayPal notification. It's most likely you. You builders eleven, I think, what used to be, right? Yep, there it is. Gotcha, and I get you on that list for twenty-four entries. Is that, well, that what's thirty work out? Twenty or no, thirty would be uh, yeah, uh, it'd twelve. Be twelve. Twelve. Yeah, twenty-four is the list. Yeah, I was thinking of Gary. So, good luck on that, Steve. Good shot by Ian. Steve's, Steve's always done good in drawings and raffles. I won. I'm not gonna lie. It's going to be a lot of typing for me to type out this list tomorrow. Boy's throwing a good little game right here. good we did a good day appreciate you guys again on the donations i read them uh, try to keep up and read them but we uh we had a really good day and uh the, 
that's awesome because uh, that's what we we're hoping for with like I said, trying to build up a little money to kick in for the ladies coming in and, and popping it off and get uh get some of this stuff done around here that we were looking to do some expansion. We'd love to have a third board. I just wish we had room. Yeah, you third know? board would be. I feel like it's just so, and then third board means more cameras well you know what i mean people would just oh, yeah. go nuts to be like how come you don't have a camera on board three more people <laughs> yeah more people want to pull up yeah like the fit's great with two boards yeah. down there I, I wish we had more like if we had a third board i'd want it we to be do good with the third board up here for yeah we, we do practice board up yeah. here yeah when we do that so kev's real generous about bringing his board state farm chucky i mean almost all our friends have a g3 so <clears throat> We usually will put a, a an extra board in the front room for practice on our larger events. So that way guys aren't just sitting up here getting cold. You know, they can at least throw around. I mean, you might might be a little more distracting because people coming and going from the room. But for the most part, it uh, it serves its purpose. And it drives my son nuts. Danny's like, why is there a dartboard up here? He comes <laughs> yeah. in. The first thing, Mr. He notices that. Yeah, he know anything that's a little different. He notices. Especially you touch one of his monsters. Oh, you yeah, don't don't mess with the zombies. That's All that's rule zombies, number one yeah. at the club. <laughs> yeah. He actually just started planning for his birthday in October. We gotta start looking for a zombie theme. I didn't want to order it too early a few months ago in case he panned out on it, but at this point it's safe to say he definitely wants a <laughs> zombie birthday party. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Kevin needs to find a triple. Won't do it. So yeah, Brent said uh, the rematch with the with the Topski, even with the win, it didn't erase the the pain of the loss in the finals. He'll be trying his best to to get into that last qualifier, and I agree. And uh, I would say that I think Brent's going to be a hard out that day. He's gonna the way he plays here at the club, and he's a he's a very consistent player and. Uh, I yeah. know he'll be working hard between now and Saturday to come and be ready, and it's it's Hot Bull on uh, Saturday, so the, our our qualifiers are 701 Hot Bull Master Out Open In, and Cricket. It's a combination. We play race to six, and it's no loser bracket, hundred dollar entry fee, and um, usually makes for a good show. I don't know how many of you guys saw the Tank Classic, but we ran our, our typical bracket in the Tank Memorial, and uh, we had some really good matches in that. We saw uh, Dan Burke and the State Farm Finals go to the 13-inch side for all the marbles. I don't remember. I don't think they split, did they? They might have split. I think they did, yeah. I don't even remember. Don't remember. What, what did we pay out, 1800 that day? We pay more than that. 1800 was the payout there. Yeah, plus uh, plus yeah, but plus Tomsky hit the uh Tomsky oh, hit yeah. the 14 yeah. darter so he got 350 we and then some, Yeah, we paid out like 2150 that night. Well, there was a lot of money floating around yep. that day. That was fun. It's for you guys don't know who Tank is. Tank was my my bulldog that that passed away last year and uh we we it just ironically happened that we had a Corona had Dart shut down, so all of us decided to do a, a big singles tournament on Memorial Day weekend. We never were coming up with the name of it. We wanted to have Memorial in there because it was Memorial Day, and then uh, the guys in the booth, it was Chris and uh, Josh in the booth, coined it the Tank Memorial Classic, and it, it just automatically stuck. A lot of the a lot of the players here were a big fan of Tank. Tank was a big part of the club, and, and uh, we all miss him around here. Tank Memorial would always stay OG in the club. Yeah, especially with the uh, the other tie with Tuna winning the, the the only year he got to play. Tuna passing away suddenly this year. They were still all reeling from that one. It was just horrible news. The, just a call you never want to get about one of your good friends, and then him, you know, just the performance he had that day, and his, you know, what he just solidified that event. as it really means something? And yeah, he was unbeatable that day. Yeah, he's probably the only one that really pulled up and just flat out played next level where nobody was really that close. He won most of his matches 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, Pretty one. convincingly, yeah. And I think he might have – he probably was 6-3 with, with like 
with Burke, six three or six four, but he he was very dominant that day. And if uh, for you th those of you that didn't know Tuna, he's a really fun guy to be around. Excellent dart player, and just just uh, we missed him a lot around here. Definitely was uh, would have been nice to see him uh, run it back to see if he could yeah. defend. You know. Well, he's forever on the plaque. You can't see it here, but back there where uh, is that Maine standing there? No, that's Yancey, I think. Maine's at the board. Just to the right of Yancey's head, we have our tank memorial, the club trophy, and it just it's got a big picture of tank and it's got the plate with the two the first two winners. It's got uh Tuna on uh, the as the uh, inaugural winner and then Dan Burke with the win this year and We'll see who ends up on the plate number three next year. And we do have some open spots for that event. So for people who haven't been here yet or asked to get in, the way we do it is uh, the champion gets to bring bring three people with them. The champion gets four spots no matter what, which this year we, we Daryl was the representative for um, Tuna. And uh, Daryl Daryl wasn't able to make it himself, but he picked up, sent a few guys in, and and then did it. And uh, Dan was one of those players. Dan was probably coming anyways, but Dan was in the list of the champions' uh, invitees. And uh, I thought that was a fun theme. Brings in new players. So this this year, Dan will be able to pick uh, three players he wants to have come p compete. So that could be scary. Dan knows some really good dark yeah. players. Could end up with like Holt or Porky or somebody over here, man. We'll all be in trouble. <laughs> but we we welcome it. We love it. We love for, I mean, if you look at the name of the who's who who's won it, look at the two champions. I mean, they're they're both guys who have won pro events in Chicago. You know, they're they're champions. I mean, they're just excellent players and ambassadors of the game. If you ask me, they definitely couldn't be labeled that. Yeah. Uh oh, double bow does not do it. Does it? What oh, we got? Yeah. No, two two eight. Two two eight. No, it's there short. Five bulls would do something nice though. You gotta assume Maine's gonna close this game right here. Yeah, game over. He didn't even look at it, huh? Well, that is how Gary snatched that last game. Remember, they screwed that up a couple bulls, so that, that could be part well, of it. That bolt, that, yeah. Gary's so dangerous in these it. spots, he dude. It. It's like he's just a dangerous guy. Sheehan says burning that midnight oil. Yeah, for sure. The guy stayed later than I expected. I know Gary works really early. He's never one to play weekdays, especially a Monday. So he, uh, I know he used to play Monday leagues all the time, but I, I don't think he's usually out this late. Looks like we'll probably. This is the last set. They did say this is the last set. Look at Scott Kev. Tim says, in case anyone's wondering, I did get home safe with no raccoon interaction. So <laughs> it's good to hear you safe out there, brother. If the nickname Patriot wasn't going to stick, we're going to have to try to work something in with the raccoon because <laughs> that was a uh, that was a that was a great story. If you were here the first time, Tim told us that story. It was just very entertaining for the whole club. Obviously it was. It was two months ago, and it still comes up every time he's in the chat or here. He probably gets tagged in everything on Facebook that has anything to do with a raccoon. All right. Gary's going to go ahead and throw this go-ahead trip. 16 for the win. Wow. You know they were sweating that one out back there after he just did it last game. And you can see maybe that maybe they're getting a little tired here. They dropped down most of the games. They were they were. Maybe. Yeah, they're, they're definitely getting a little tired. <laughs> Tim clarifies that yeah, those tags got a little wild for a minute there. <laughs> yeah, I I know it because I I'd see it all the time. <laughs> Scotty was probably the main one tagging them. I didn't even have to. I would jog and be like seven people shared a shared a 
You was just throwing Something. the laughing on it. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. I definitely was encouraging it. Yeah. You know we love good jokes around here. And it's just hard to not picture walking up to him. Hey, what's up, little buddy? <laughs> <laughs> like, out of here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go now, buddy. That's how I pictured it, this scene from Elf. I was like, see, because you know it was after League. So there we go, Jermaine. Lead in a race to three. So if Kevin Gary can hold this on, it looks like we'll see a 13-inch cricket decider for the final game of the evening. What did he throw there? Bullseye? A little wear and tear, probably. I don't even know what they're talking about, but they're laughing pretty good down there. So good shot for Maine after a slack start from Kev. Let's see if Gary can find that first start trip 19 like he's been doing all night long. Nobody can do it with the commentator jinx, though. I'm brutal like that. I apologize. You made him throw a three solid. For the first time we've seen that all night, at least on the 19. I feel yeah. like he's hit that trip 19 a lot tonight on his first start. Oh, I like that, Yance. Yeah, go straight at that close. Yeah, there why you wouldn't go. you? Now go for a 20. There you Ooh, go. Ooh, caught it, too. Nice shot, Yancey. So I'll look for Kev to go seven-piece 18s here. Closes it. I don't hate the close there. Would have been a little better if he caught the trip 18 on the third because I feel like Maine's going to probably hit the trip 18 with one of his first two darts. And most likely he was going to look if he does. Oh, and it worked. Yeah, I thought he was closing 18s and 17s there almost. So. <laughs> Felt like it. Yeah. Here comes Gary. Yeah, he could take the lead in points. I don't know. It's funny for how Gary, good Gary is too. It's like uh, he's kind of a not super known for Michigan because he just don't travel at all. Yeah, he's a local guy that goes to the state, all he's the not state. Very outspoken. He's no, not and he's not on social media, you know. But he he is an absolute banger, and uh, he knows how to get it done. And he's won some big matches and big titles. And uh, right here in, in in Michigan, he's done he's done really well, and he has done some traveling. It's not like he hasn't been to the bull shooters and stuff he is on the pro list from i think he won his singles maybe in ohio might have took second but he's definitely he's definitely got some first place bull shooter events so but just his uh work schedule and his life schedule doesn't allow him to travel as much as some of the other players so maybe a little less uh name recognition but when you play him you will not forget him i promise you that you'll be like yeah i know that guy definitely known in michigan 100%. yeah oh ain't nobody out here that don't know him yeah, but for sure doesn't travel much as he should for being as He was as he in is. the Grudge Series, I'm going to say, before he's lost to Farm. I feel like everyone had him as the number one in power rankings. I, I think Farm exceeded that with the win. I think Farm jumped him to one, and I would say that you could argue either way at two. You could argue a few different players at two. I, I think that Kevin Gary would be in the top of the list for, for most people if they were voting – just off play and success, wins and losses. You know, if you're voting for your favorite player, you might change your vote a little bit. But I, if it was me, that's that's how I see it. I see Farm at the, as the top seed, and I got Kevin and Gary at a T2, you know, because uh, you have to. Farms, uh, both their losses, or, or Kev's got no losses, and he had the huge win against, against Benny Smith when Benny just brought everything at him and played extraordinary. And, and Kev was able to win it on the – 13 inch side in the tiebreaker and kev also had a convincing win with tim uh, they played uh that was back when it was just one set so kev has a a, a good list of who's who's who on on his on his victories for it to be at the two and all range so yance has a chance to end it all right here yeah I, they're winning this set i mean they shouldn't lose this set now right yancey's had a really good game back to back seven marks when they needed him the most so, 161 with the double bull on the first dart. Now you're at 186 with the double. Now it's over. 
He needed a double for yep. the lead. The last yeah, Jermaine ain't missing a single bowl. He They're having a hard time getting out of here. It was supposed to be the last set, but I just heard her run it back. So here we go. I like it. No gamble, no future, baby. Oh my. This is exactly what I'm going to watch when I log out. I don't know how many of you guys are These poker. Boys. Poker go subscribers, but uh, that no gamble, no future is a great watch, man. It's a big cash game. It's always live, and it's got some of the best poker players in the world at the table. It's uh, definitely what I'm going to do. Uh, if I go to bed tonight after this, I'll watch in the morning, but they are live, and eight o'clock on Tuesdays, I think, or Mondays, I'm sorry. It's a two hour episode. It's a lot like the the night games, the the old uh, big cash game they used to do. I can't think of the name of it. Poker after dark or whatever. Look at that aggressive play. Yeah, the board barely switched. Yeah. Oh, you talking about that trip twenty first start? Or the Tim, uh, I'm working on a mixed doubles event. I am. It's going to be a $250 entry per team because um, I want to narrow down the crowd. But uh, I think we're going to have up to six teams for the mixed doubles event, and it's going to be $250 a team. So um, we're going to do large entry to uh, try to encourage it, and we may go as far as to go um, winner take all. I, I just want to uh, – we've had a lot of clapping about mixed in the events, and uh, – <laughs> Cowboys, no time. Oh my. But yeah, that is true. Uh, just like we're we're also going to start working on uh, some type of bar challenge event. Also going to be a two hundred and fifty dollar entry fee. And um, you know, with uh, could be men, women, whoever. You could bring two girls. I just want uh, maybe have like a just maybe have a uh, city wars type of vibe to it, but with bars. Obviously, nothing will have that, that full feel of City Wars. City Wars was one of my favorite events of all time. I really do miss that event. Ten-man teams and 10, 11, 12 teams from around the state. It was always a fun day, so we obviously don't have room for that here. But I think we can get six teams. Good shot by me. I like it. Tim says him and Kendra like it. We got this game one set. I don't even know what set they're on anymore. Seven, eight, nine. A lot. Kevin, Tim cracking each other in the comments there. No, no, <laughs> we're no strangers to that here. Two good buddies that like to get after each other with the chat. Had some good matches here between the two of them. Here comes Big Shot Gary. Uh, I'll take the lead. I like that. I love the yelling, man. They're still yelling seven hours into this shit. They're still hype. I love it. Not seven, but we're we're closing in on hour five. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> What'd he do there? Went double, yeah. Charlie Berryhill, what's up, my man? Hanging out late tonight. Thanks for the late light. Watching these guys uh, have some fun and some random race to threes. I I don't know if they're doing double or nothing down there. I'm not sure. They uh, I think they, I don't know what they played in the after they did the the original sets were were 50 each one. But uh, then after when they sh shortened down to only race to three, they they may have changed it. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're where they're at. 
That would be rough, though, if you lost it on double or nothing in one set after you win six and then lose one set. Ouch. Yeah, I don't okay. think they did it that way. I like to see it, though, planning for the next event. Guys getting ready for stuff, so I like the fact that uh, nobody batted an eye when I said the 250 for the uh, for the the bar challenge and uh, and the mixed doubles, and uh, that's kind of how we thin the herd here, man. A lot of people say they want to play this, they want to play that. Well, if you want to play and you want to play for 250 a team, then we got a spot for you. Yeah. We will get you a spot. <laughs> we will get you a spot. We promise you that. And that's kind of what you have to do when you only have two boards and you're in a residential venue, you know? It's like Olivia yeah, Terry, she loves that. So she many. loves that. I know I already heard your team, girl. I know you ready. She's thinking that 250 need to go up. Well, it looks like Brent has uh, changed partners. I thought he was coming in there with Jody Hoover, but it looks like he's been talking to Kelly Metz. Is there a scholarship package? <laughs> the old journal, baby. You better get that, get that, get that, fun, get that fundraiser out there, baby. Support your people. Get your girl on the board. I just think we could have a lot of fun with that. If the players are throwing in that kind of entry too, obviously we're gonna do something from the club too. You know what I mean? The club gonna throw something in. We're gonna Always, have yeah. we're gonna have dope custom awards for you. We'll get your jersey. We'll do something. It, like it, it definitely ain't gonna be just player money only. If we're asking you guys to put up chips like that to come play, we're we, we're gonna put something in too. So. No pressure, darts. You can talk in the chat. Well, we don't call it the Grudge Series for nothing. It's a little late for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I have... don't even eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln Hawk is going hard in the chat. <laughs> I love these guys, man. This is what makes it fun. <laughs> farm you in in bed <laughs> <laughs> it's midnight that boy gonna be up in a minute <laughs> you know he's in he already, he already texted me Liv you, you guys are good I, I just figured I was like you know we started the idea with four teams but I was like man we could spread this to six and uh, we'll just see you know there is a lot of chatter, but when, when you bring up the money, people change their mind. I, I'm not saying it's financial reasons, but we, we have a whole lot of people commenting how bad they want to be in it until we put that entry fee out. And we're not ashamed of that. That's what we do here at the club. We we, we thrive on, on players that, that, that have the ability and the skill to throw that kind of money out and come play, man. Yeah, yeah. Keeps the... Uh Keeps the stream competitive. Keeps it fun, keeps, and it, it makes keeps it pressure. everything it honest. Keeps pressure on yeah. a little bit, you know. Most singles uh, we do anyway are 100 a man, so it's not much yeah. different, you know. I mean, I, even our locks are 40. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's just because it's like, hey, there's no coin drop here. You're not paying a bar. You're not doing this. There's massive payouts. We buy big awards. You know, and uh, you know, so. We just don't want somebody to leave worth first place winning $110 a piece feeling like they shot their ass off a day. We'd rather you leave with 500 Yeah, it's always good to keep the prizes high. Yeah, I think so. You can't have high prizes without high entry. We're not we're not a business here. We don't, we don't I mean, outside of fan and player-generated money, that's – yeah. and staff. You know, a lot of our staff guys throw, you know, throw in something every time they're over and – Stuff like that, so we do what we can to pump the events up, but we've had people complain, when are you going to have a $20 event? <laughs> right, there's my there's all kinds of lucks around here where you can go play for $10, $11, you know? <laughs> oh, man. 
And it's like, it feels like the, you know, it just, there's no payout. Like to me, when I say first place, $112 or $110, it sounds like, why? <laughs> Who wants to waste their night for 55 bucks? <laughs> Pull up and leave with a stack. That hits different. <laughs> that hits different rolling through Taco Bell on the way home. And we're not a super size. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're not it's no one personally or anyone one you know, it's just we have been questioned before about the entries and we just like to clarify why we do it that way. Team Screamers, that's a good name for them, too. <laughs> There's definitely two of our hype players. Hey, Brent, he did turn that around. Brent said he Brent was uh, he made a good point to me one night after his first uh, big cash here. He said, man, I was getting a little nervous. He said I was that was my six hundredth dollar I paid in club entry fees. And I hadn't cashed. And what happened after he broke that stride? He won the next four luck of the draws in a row. And he took second place in a sim single. And now he's probably up 450. So good. it goes to show you could turn around his hard work. And, and when Brent yeah. came here a couple months ago, he was already a good player. But I, I think his game is elevated from, from playing here and practicing with these guys. And, and just the desire he has to play darts every day. And uh, it shows every time you see him on the stream, he's in there getting it done. So... That was a good turnaround story, Brent. And it's, I think it should be encouraging to some of the players who might think that they're maybe not quite at the level to come compete here, but that's how you get to this level. You come in and you pay big money to play against the great players, and you ain't going to want to give your money away all the time. You're going to learn to win. Yeah, definitely. If you it's will costing find you $100. Dig deep and get some W's, you will. You have to. Yeah, and, and he makes a good point. He says it's never about the cash. It's about, you know, getting your better and better for the game. But the cash helps because it funds your game to be able to go play other places. And, yeah. and that's really what our theory is, is, you know, and that's what we do with the, with, with the money that's coming in and the money we build and, the, and the, the stuff we have planned for the future to help raise funds is like we're just trying to build player sponsorship funds so we can send guys to tournaments. And when you're on your way, you can stop at the club and pick up a $500 envelope to cover your entry fees and your, you know, room and stuff like that for the weekend to help help lighten the blow a little bit because I, I, well, I know how much it costs to be a traveling player. It, it's not cheap, man. All my friends do it. I did it for years, and it's, you know, it's $1,000 a weekend for us alcoholics <laughs> easily, right? Easy. You get out there drinking, partying. So that's what we do is the fans help, the players help, the staff helps, and we just uh, – Try to get people hot, make them earn it, keep them in their best form, and then send them out to represent the club and, and the game of darts in general. Charlie says no one ever wants to play for cash up here. He says, hey, it's, it's a lot of that everywhere. You know, it's it's hard to find a, a crowd that, for me, the, the comparison for me is always poker, man. Like a bad poker player will walk in and throw $200 down, no problem, man. But let somebody be a little worse in darts, they don't even want to play for five. And I felt like when I learned when I was coming up, I was always getting my ass kicked in cash games by the best players because it was like, hey, I might lose 80 bucks tonight playing five or 10 bucks a game, playing the best guys around, but I'm getting better from it. And eventually it turned to where I started winning some money. Definitely got to put it in, learn how to lose for money, gain some confidence, make sure the money don't mean much, just worry about winning. Yeah, and nobody here, you know, if somebody came here light and was like, hey, dude, I'm hurting this week, we got people, man. We take care of we ain't, we ain't out here. We ain't out here trying to take your money, man. We, we ain't out here trying to make you miss your cell phone payment or something because you paid an over high entry fee. We, yeah. we try to make sure we keep it fair and keep it right and... Definitely you know? uh, keeps the players who believe in their self coming, though, you know, that type of money. Yeah. We just want the players to play great. We want to breed champions, and we want people to, to feel confident when they leave the club that they're going to play better darts the next time they're on a dartboard somewhere, and, and that's really all, what it's all about.
<laughs> Jeez. How does Kevin Eatman have time to comment so fast? We good on the scoreboard there? Everybody got this at 1-1? One, one. It, it may not have been four in a row. I'm not sure. I, mean, I don't know. Apparently, Tim counts. Tim only counts events when he's here. Tim's always been like that. I've won everything at the MDC. <laughs> he has. And Tim's had, everybody here has had big runs. Man. But I thought it was four lucks in a row, but it may not have been. I know one of them was that double dip. Over Chucky and uh, Chucky and Tim, so Tim was in at least one of those finals. <laughs> <laughs> but he won with uh, who else did he win the luck with? He won a couple of lucks. <laughs> Tim does clarify. I am correct. He said it only counts in my eyes when I'm there. I can respect that. I can respect that. I tell you what, when our when our Corona four mans were getting played down here on uh, the, when we were G three live, our, our those four mans were that was the Tim show, man. That was the, that was. Remember how good Tim? We yeah. either had Tim or Jake. I don't think we ever got to play with both at the same time, but they were like always our ace, man. If that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Kev twice. He did win with Steven Showalter. And he draws Benson so much. There's got to be a win in there with Benny. Him and Brent, Brent, and, uh, Brent and Benny play, play a lot together. Boy, break it down for him, Brent. He, he wants you to break it down for him. <laughs> Norquist done with his bowling tournament. Tim's never going to live down the next door. <laughs> the show on the stream, how close the dart was. <laughs> we can't. I, actually, actually, Gary, Gary and Tim are coming up soon. They, uh, they're both one and one in the Grudge Series, and they've got a good match coming up. So we're, we're going to get a good look at a uh, good power singles match in that one. I think Gary Clark versus Tim is going to be a banger. Kevin and Gary get a point there. It, it is hard to believe Tim says those four mans were lit. I can't believe it's been over a year ago. Yeah, it was. And we were playing them like twice a week, man. We yeah, were, we, 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 we were, we were, we didn't lose almost ever. You know what I mean? We were beating a lot of really good four mans. And we had all kinds of different teams. We, we had Jake Allen played with us all the time. We had, you played a bunch. Chucky played a bunch. I played a bunch. Uh, Sheehan played a bunch. Farm played. I think that was pre-Kev. I don't even think Kev ever played on a four-man back then. That was no, before he did, took before off, yeah. I don't even know if he was practicing much with us even at the time. Nice, good bowling out there, Chris. He said he shot 245, 290, and 220. 750 for a $750 cash for $290 investment. Not bad, brother. That's what it is, Tim. Tim and uh, Tim and Jerry's must not have been during during. Uh, Benny must not have been here for that. Or I mean, uh, Brent might not have been here. It's it's rare that Brent misses an event here, though. Let's be honest, Brent Brent doesn't miss yeah, very Brent, many events. Brent likes to show his face here. If if there's if it's an open event and more than two people are playing or four in this case, it, Brent's usually on the on the roster. He lives really close and. He's down to play all day, every day, and he stays late. And he doesn't ever care who his partner is. He don't care if it's luck. He don't care if it's mix. He just loves loves the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that might be a better nickname than Meatball, baby. <laughs> Sheriff Meatball. <laughs> Yeah, Tim. Tim and Jerry did play really good there. I can't. Who who'd you guys play in the finals, Tim? I feel like you guys had a had a tough final that night because it went to the second set, I believe.
Because I know I remember you guys won the top side. You sat for a while, and I thought you got beat in the first set, but the second set you guys won maybe four to two. I don't remember exactly, but I know that you guys were dominant in the second set to close it out. I do remember that. That was before my editing days, so there was no highlight reel from that one, but it was a good event. Yeah, I did think it was Kev, too. I, I don't remember who his partner was either, though. Did he have a... Was it Jake Vargo, maybe? Because I know Vargo cashed in one of the last locks because I know he he had he had taken finished third quite a few times so he hadn't hit the cash in the luck and I remember him saying something about making the cash that he, he was feeling good to get to the final and even the final set so I think it could have been Jake Vargo I could be wrong. Hey, this is some straight troopers, though. Three-hour ride home. You still throw in. It's 12.01. We're officially the Midnight Dark Club. In the midnight. Yeah. Tim says, I am positive. Kev will read this and remember who it is. There is no lie in that statement. I'm going to say I feel confident in who I say it was that it was Jake Vargo. I, I believe it was Jake. But... Vargo that night. <laughs> Chris says we still have as many viewers as Brent's match the other day. <laughs> we stayed about we stayed around around fifty. Yeah, yeah. It was a it was a normal crowd. It was a normal crowd. The long gaps is what hurt. The long uh the, the breaks. The breaks always hurt you, man. We 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 were at 160 and then we Broke after the second set, and it came back and was like 51. <laughs> so these boys are about to kick it off on the 13-inch. So here we go. What could be the final game of the night? I almost have to assume this has to be the final game of the night for just because Gary's work schedule. I feel like Let's it's... Zoom in on that. Go ahead, middle button, top row. I feel row. like it's not. Middle button, top row, yep. Oh, that's a double bowl. Is that, where, okay. where, where did he's Gary dig in the tank? What did he, what's he finding out here? Because he's been hot these last couple of games. And it's late. He's definitely had some brews. I've seen his cooler looks kind of empty. I think he was up here looking for a brew. Yeah, <laughs> he's down. Yeah, well, there's plenty of brews. So we got some midnight stuff going on here. <laughs> Gary. Russ Pico hard. hanging out late at night with the cash app donation to pick up eight entries into the eight entries into the drawing. Appreciate you out there, Russ. We need to get you back here soon. I know it's been a while. Don't, don't remember if you've seen the whole new setup or not. I feel like that night he drew Olivia. We had the new, most of the new setup. I don't know if he's been here since the mural's been up, but um. Definitely look to get you back in action over here. There's another one with the just tough hours. I think, you know, those shifts, these guys that go to work at 6 and 7 o'clock and they work afternoons or whatever, nights, whatever they call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a pretty good clap back. That's a pretty good clap back. Oh, is he no. throwing a nine mark? One forty. Man seems pretty focused here in these late sets, don't he? Like he was, he was a little loose earlier. He seemed like he's dialed in now. <laughs> These 
boys. I know we're gonna we're we're gonna have a feature rap battle with these guys when we get the two mics. We'll have one of them upstairs, one downstairs. <laughs> Put them on that Kingy Flay beat. <laughs> oh man, Josh, Katie, you guys still out there watching? I know Josh is at work, so he usually just listens. So a lot of times, because I don't think he could be on his phone. Kate's probably in bed by now. I know she's so excited for the the ladies' event. and She's had a big part in helping with the staffing it and everything and getting it ready. But we also try to keep her focused so she can play and enjoy herself. So. And, uh, so let's see here. Opportunities knocking here if Kev lets us off the hook here. If you're Yancey, how good does the first dart trip 18 feel here? Oh, great. Freaking great. Ooh. Well, he's getting up there on that camera. You see that yeah. loft? Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It almost looks like it's. Yeah. And it's the second camera that's picking him up. So he's yeah. like going just under the first one. I think it's going above and coming back. That's a that's a unique shot line. Yeah, you don't even see Clarks. <laughs> Cause they're friggin' lasers. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the American anchor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, the USA chants are live right now. <laughs> oh, he definitely remembers the night that kicked him into high gear. I think it was a night that ch changed a lot about the game for Kev. He came here and uh, had a pretty bad first showing, and uh, the next time we saw him, he was just in come over with some incredible gameplay, and uh, he's been here for every session since. <laughs> Throwing good. Throwing good, working hard on his game, and uh, works with, with not just good players here, but all over the players. He, he plays on the grand board, and he plays G3 live, and he spends a lot of time on the dartboard. Olivia got that popcorn ready. I like it. We in here, too. We're out of tacos after those guys discovered they were on the table up here. <laughs> Poor Maine stayed downstairs practicing. They didn't even tell him. He didn't even get one. <laughs> He probably the only one without green sauce on his shirt. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, nine days a week is rough. Tell you what, it, it helps having, you know, online darts at home. If you got a G three or 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 even a grand board or any any type of means to to play those players like that, man. What you see how much it helps these players just just grand board yeah. alone just just jumping on and getting reps with there's so many good players on that platform and, and then now you know the g3 is back it, it's live you can go to the local bar at the corner and play g3 all night and there's there's 150 200 people in the lobby again it's about time during corona there was maybe six and they were all at home it was all basements yeah. and front rooms and couples basically Definitely starting to build momentum. It's back, back up. up. It's back up. If Especially you, with yeah. that ESPN. Uh, oh, ESPN you know, was huge, man. From the good I've already direction. watched the watched the recording three or four times. Like if, if I get somebody that comes over that ain't seen it, I make them sit down. Oh, you haven't seen it? I don't even tell them who won because I know they probably don't know, you know. Because <laughs> if you tell them who won, they want to leave. They're already like, well, yeah. you ruined it for them. You know what yeah. I mean? Because when you're watching – Kind of feels like Magneto's going to win. You know what I mean? Like, he's throwing smoke. He throws the nine darter. You know what I mean? Like, it, it – and Spellman was just Mr. Consistent. I mean, after day one, it almost looked like Cheney was going to win, too. 5-0 and oh in game fives. Ex, you know, excellent outs. Good scoring. Clutch game – 5-0 and oh in game fives. And the room full of shooters that good. Yeah, that's that's going to get you to the top. Lot. That's going to yeah. get you to the top. That's, you know. Says a lot about your game. They're playing old one now. Olivia says Alex is playing so good right now. Yeah, I, I really uh, – it was my first time meeting Alex when you guys brought him here, and I, I really liked him, and I really liked his game. And you can tell just by watching him he's a really good player already. 
And he's on a ride. Oh, yeah, I bet you did, Alex Spellman. I thought, because, you know what, I was just thinking about uh, Alec because we just talked about him. Yeah, yeah. But he is playing really good right now, too, as well. But, yeah, Spellman's on a whole different level. Yeah, Spellman's Spellman's one of the hottest players in the country. All right, guys, we're going to mute the mic so we can talk them in the front room so that everybody doesn't cram in the broadcast booth here. So this is it. I'll come back and log us out. But thanks for everything, guys.